Today we're going to take a look at the very best Roblox games I've played over the past several years and spent well over $10,000 doing it. Okay, the stronger I get, the further I jump. The further I jump, the more points I get. The more points I get, the stronger I become and the further I can jump. We're going to try and break something today. That jump got me 900 studs, which I'm going to spend buying pets that make me go further. Picking up these rockets also gives me a strength boost. We're up to 420 base. So we'll save up to about 500 and give ourselves another jump. 550 even, that's going to send us even further. We're going to get $1,100 just for that. I'm also going to equip three of my common pets that I've since accumulated. That puts my base up to 881, which is going to send me even further for even more riches. 1,500. What I really need is exactly this, 12,000 so I can have one of these potentially mythical idiots. I will settle for a common piece of toast. But the toast by itself adds 400 rocket power. The three other things had 300 in total. Plus, now I get to be followed by all these little weirdos for a little while. And I get a free spin on this thing. That's going to give me something amazing, no doubt. Like 3,000. I guess I won't complain with three stuff. These things get very expensive, so I need to get back to jumping. But with the help of my pets and all my newfound power, 2,100. Basically, I need another 12,000 to get another proper chance at a good pet, so we're just going to jump a few more times. Currently, I'm in 15th place, and that's not going to do at all. I need to be making such big jumps that we leave the map entirely behind. We're going to jump straight out of this universe. I just need to do this enough times. A couple of jumps and rockets later, 2,300. And everyone suddenly just died and sort of reset. We still have all our powers, though, so I'm not sure what that is. New pet time. What do we got? Lava jellyfish. That was a rare one. There's a 1 in 5 chance of that happening. It gives me 600 boost and while i'm waiting for the jump thing to unlock i'm gonna collect as many rockets as i can now we should go much further again we have 300 seconds left before the, everyone dies. 2,700. But it's 90,000 for the next available pet thing. My base power is also over 2,000 now, so that's going up quickly. The rockets are helping. I'm trying not to grab a ton of them as I go, but I'm getting some. Ooh, we're almost up to 3,000. After that yellow rocket, that'll probably get us there. This is surprisingly fast-paced. Couple more rockets, one more jump, and we should be able to buy a new pet after this, which means we'll remove one of our common ones. But let's see what we're able to hatch. Come on, something amazing. Common toast. So we'll unequip one of the basic ones and replace them with 3400 so we get a surplus of 300 jump power which means we're going to go much further again look at the end of the board we can't even see it yet but we got 3400 a couple jumps later we're actually making pretty good progress almost 3800 and it's very quickly time for another new pet again which was nothing more than a common toast but i'll take it 12th place is not good enough i don't care how long it takes we're gonna go further 4300 i've just realized on the bottom of the screen it kind of shows how far you can go up to a million so far we're going 4,000, so we've got some work to do. We're going to take another pet, which was just another common, so we'll unequip the uh, basic one. And then get right back to work, jumping into oblivion, slowly saving up enough money. Oh, I was in third place for that though. Oh, as soon as stronger people jump, I lose my spot. That's all going to change once I get my super pet. Never mind. Got a good feeling about this one. We're going so far now. We didn't quite hit the big 5,000 chunk. I did hit enough to buy another pet though, another common toast. And I think we can actually turn this into one shiny because we have five of them. And that gives me a 1,200 boost. So this time we're going to go a little bit further, probably well into the 5,000 mark. Yep. And at $5,000 a jump, I can do this all day. And since I need 90,000, it's going to take me 18 jumps from zero to get enough for one of those pets. This big jump right to the middle of 5,000 puts us over 90,000. Time for one of the big eggs. We have a 0.1% chance of a mythical here. So what are we going to get? common. I expect no less. It does give me a thousand power by itself though, which is kind of crazy. And with the ones I don't want, I can straight up throw them in the garbage. I'm gonna take a few seconds to grab a few extra rockets for a little bit of extra power. This is very satisfying, strangely. Okay, after all that, how far can we go? Well, past 5,000, almost past 6,000. Incrementally, we're working our way through this. Picking up a few rockets every time is just enough to push me a little bit further and further and further, so I don't have to keep staring at the same space again and again and again. Broke into 7,000. My base power is climbing very slowly, close up to 5,000 though, after the big yellow rocket, I think we've got it. And that's going to lead to a colossal jump, halfway through 7,000. And then after this big jump, right to the middle, we have enough for another $90,000 pad, hopefully a legendary one. We're getting so unlucky, there we go, a rare. So we're going to straight up uh, trash that one, and then we're going to equip our new one that gives me 1,500. The next one's going to cost 450,000, so... But I potentially have a better way to get that one, we're going so much further now, <laughs> right up to 
10,000. So that's escalating pretty nicely. And this actually works in conjunction with my plan. Just need to do a few of these ever-growing jumps. And then I can buy another four of these medium eggs. Even if they're just common, that's perfectly fine by me. Because I can turn those five commons into a shiny. And the level two shiny, 1.2 thousand. So that's going to give me another boost again. Not a huge one, but every little boost counts because every jump is worth more. And things are going to escalate so much further. There's another 90,000, so that means another $90,000 pet. And that's another rare. So this basic rare is going to be unequipped, and then we're going to place it with the third level rare for 1.5 thousand, and we're going to trash that. And then it's straight back to jumping, grabbing whatever rockets we can along the way. At this point, our base power, our power is 8,400. We're able to jump to the middle of 13,000, which means we can buy yet another pet. Come on, legendary. And before you know it, it's time for another pet. Just a common, but if we get enough of those, we turn them into a shiny anyway. And then I'm going to spend a minute gathering rockets to get my jumping just a little further boosted. Maybe we'll get it up to 10,000. My rockets. Nobody touch these. These are here for me. We're not finding any more yellow rockets, so let's see what 8,800 does. Plus my new pets, 14,500. So no, it really only takes a few jumps to get the 90,000 we need for the new pets. So one more pet, hoping for a rare. I got a common. I'll take my frustration out by jumping myself into oblivion repeatedly. Okay, no matter what we get here, it's going to be exciting. Because even if it's just a common, we can smash those all together to turn them into a shiny, which is probably pretty good. Yep, plus 3,000 power. That's insane. So my base power is well over 10,000 at this point, which means we're probably about to break our own personal record by a lot. 18,000. And at this rate, it's going to take very few jumps to get the 90,000 we need, and we can start moving on to even bigger, rarer pets. Okay, we're jumping well into the 19,000s now, and that's alarmingly quick to buy a $90,000 pet, so we're going to keep going with those. I think this might be my first jump to break 20,000, and that's going to feel very good. Every five jumps will make me 100,000. And if we could actually find some super rare pets, that would be even better. Another 20,000, we're well over 100,000 in the bank. But there's a rare pet that's marginally better than one of our old shinies. Then it's straight back to jumping. But that pet did propel us well into 21,000, and those numbers add up. I just hatched a legendary pet that had a 10% chance. 2,500 is how much that gives us, so that's going to give us a 2,000 bonus over one of these. And that's such a colossal boost that each jump is now going to take us so far. We go so quick. And we're touching down at 24,000. And we also just hatched an epic pet suddenly, so luck is finally on our side. This one's only worth 2,000, but 2,000 is still really, really good. My army of idiots is going to carry me to victory eventually. We just need better idiots. The base is now up to 15,000, so we're going almost 30,000 every jump. And with our current power level, we're able to hit 30,000. We're escalating so fast. After that last jump, that gave us $453,000. That means we can get our first pro level egg. 40% chance of common, 1% chance of mythical. I wouldn't say no to anything. Common. But even a common is worth 4,000. So now I just gotta save up for a long time to get another one of those, but look how far we can go now. 36,000. It actually only takes 11, 12 jumps to get us the 450,000 we need. And along the way, I'm picking up enough rockets to make myself incrementally stronger and stronger. Like we landed in the middle of 37,000 there, there's more rockets, even some blue rockets, and then we do it again. A few jumps later, we're landing almost to 38,000. Every once in a while, I like to turn around and look behind where everyone spawns because there's often a lot of yellow rockets sitting there because nobody looks backwards. And I mean, I don't blame them. It's kind of fun just to launch yourself again and again and again. 40,000. A few of those and we're able to get another $450,000 egg. What do we got? Something amazing? Epic. Epic dog. That one's 6,000 bonus. And I realized I can just hit the equip best button and it automatically sorts me out. So now we're going to go much, much further again. We were uh, landing on 40,000. Now we're going all the way up to... Where is it? 55,000? I'm not going to complain about that. That was a huge jump. Not sure why it was so big, though. We went from 40 to 55. After starting a new round, I was in first place for a fleeting second because I landed on 55,000. But there's someone down on the bottom. They looped around over a million. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll get there. I've got all the time in my world to keep doing this again and again and again and again. This jump is going to land us just about at 60,000. Actually, it did land us on 60,000, which is enough for another pro pet. Better be something amazing. Epic dog. So we'll go ahead and equip that. That went from 2,000 to 6,000, so we got an extra 4,000 boost just from that. And then we're going to pick up a few of our very valuable rockets. And then we get to find out how far that's going to launch us. Judging by that airtime, a long way. 78,000. A couple easy jumps later, and we're landing actually over 80,000 already. So this is escalating faster and faster, and I'm all for it. 81,000. Picking up the rockets seems to have much more of an effect now, too. If I pick up just a few of these, it'll probably push me even a few thousand further, especially with a yellow rocket. Big launch, nice high speed to start. This will land us over 450,000, but let's see where we actually land on. 
almost 90,000. So let's hope for something amazing here. Another epic. If I get two more of those, I might be able to turn them into an epic shiny, which would be unreasonably strong. But we won't put the cart before the horse because they're probably going to get very bad luck. But we just went up to 108,000. So basically four jumps and we get new pets. So we're probably going to start stacking pets endlessly. Especially because every time even we pick up just a few rockets, it pushes us so much further. Those who push me all the way up to 111,000. Come on, epic. Two more epics. So we got a rare. That's good for 5,000. That's still really, really good. And once I equip that, we're going all the way up to 125. It's crazy to think when we started, we are getting less than 100. Now we're getting 110,000 every jump. I'm okay with the fact I wasn't getting lucky at first because because now I'm getting very lucky with my drops. Like that's a legendary worth 7,000. That's even more than the epics. So we're going to equip best. And the pets are giving me a total, I think, of 43,000 boost. My base is 40,000. Oh, which means we're up to 130,000. This kind of ridiculous jumping power makes it so easy to buy the pets. This guy's going to have the strongest legs in the universe by the time we're done. Come on, epic. Yes, perfect. One more of those, we get to make a shiny epic. And we all know the shiny epics are the best kind of epics. Our jumping is now so insane that we're jumping up to about 150,000, which means three jumps gets us a new pet and we got a fifth epic epics have a 20 percent chance of happening so we actually got really really lucky with those so we're gonna craft those into one we're gonna lose a few but that one's now with 18,000 so our base power is now up to 47,000 our pets give us 56,000 so this is gonna be a really big jump and i'm here for it this is gonna make us some serious money and then we're gonna be able to buy even stupider pets what is that 182,000 it's been two jumps we've made four hundred thousand dollars so three jumps is going to be more than enough for more pets. And I've now officially collected enough rockets to launch me incredibly far. We're officially landing over 200. That was 211. And the jump after that, 218. And I'm actually legitimately in third place at this point. We have two minutes left in the server, but I've officially made it to third place. And with $3 million, that means we can buy the next level of pro eggs. Before doing that, I think I want to give myself an extra 300% luck boost. Uh, then an extra 100% on top of that, because I didn't realize that was also a thing. Now we should get our money's worth after our $3 million investment. This one's gonna be common. That's not a good luck thing. There's a 60% chance of that. Well, whatever. Is it at least super good? Okay, it is worth 12,000. That is incredibly good. I don't know what we paid for with our extra luck though. That's a little alarming. I feel like we just went 266,000. That's wild. We're gonna need a little more of that. 268,000. So at the current rate of 250,000 per jump, it only takes 12 jumps to get the 3 million we need for another pet. And those are super pets. Jump number 12, we're touching down 269,000. So how about that luck of ours? We got an epic. That had a 9% chance of happening. That's worth 18,000, the same as our epic shiny. So the pets are now worth 100,000 boost. My base is 88,000. That's a real big jump. We land on 325,000, then 333,000. So as long as I pick up a few rockets, we go a lot further. It's very easy to save up another $3 million. Hopefully we get something absolutely amazing, another epic. But we're kind of running into the problem too, where we're starting to run out of room. But we're about to replace a 5,000 with an 18,000. But then that kind of got me thinking, why don't we just equip five more pets? We did equip some lower level pets again, but that put our boost up to 138,000. Which naturally makes for a really, really big jump. We can't even see where we started anymore and we're just cruising along to 450,000. So I think this is the point where things are just really going to start to escalate super, super strongly. It's only a few short jumps later and we landed at 495,000, basically half a million every single jump. But more importantly, new pets more often. This one's going to be common, but even for common, it's still 12,000. We need more escalation, damn it. How about collect rockets from anywhere? So now we're going to get a big upgrade every single time we relaunch, and I don't have to run around looking for them manually. We're just going to suck it all in and my legs are going to get that much stronger again. 547,000 plus all that. So every time we launch, it's going to go considerably further than the last time. We went from 547 to 570. So we're getting 25,000 extra per launch. <laughs> so that's going to keep going and going and going. And it's just very satisfying to launch. Like you launches at light speed, you go so high and far, you're just flying along minding your own business. I don't know if there's a limit to where this game will let me go. There is a leaderboard for money spent and eggs hatched. There is 33,000 eggs hatched? What a madman. There is presumably more luck on there, two times luck. So I wouldn't say no to that. Instead, we got a million points. 
I mean, I guess that's pretty good and stuff. For that, we get an epic super pet. Pretty sure that's going to launch us incredibly far. Coming up to almost 700,000, 660,000 every single launch. I didn't even realize we already broke 3 million. That's how quick it's going at this point. But look how far we're going on the bottom. Easy pass, 737. Okay, now it's 750,000. That's going so quickly. We might as well save up for the 10 million pet. Currently, I'm in third place on the server, but we're jumping over 800,000 at this point. So we might hit a million before we're able to buy our 10 million dollar pet and that's perfectly acceptable by me and i'm also officially in second place with my pizza shirt and cool hair but this is going to be the last jump that's going to put us over 10 million look how far we're going look how fast we're going look how happy we look and touching down right at 868 so a 10 million dollar pet Ooh, 0.09 chance to find one of those so even with our 400 luck it's not likely but you never know, there's an epic. That's actually less than a 1% chance to happen. That was incredibly rare. That's worth 38,500, which is at least double my next best. So that's going to help us go a little bit further. In fact, that's going to help us go a lot further. Down on the map, we're going over 900,000. We, we broke a million. 1,138,000. I think I'm understanding that correctly. So we're lapping the board at this point. So that's a lot of fun. So yeah, we break a million. We're going past almost 1,200,000. And every time we launch again, we go considerably further because we're just grabbing all the rockets from everywhere. While I'm waiting for the gates to open again. Oh, we got so close to two times luck. This jump is pretty good. 1,250,000. But that's also enough for another super top tier pet which is only a common, but that's a really good common. It's worth 28,000. That's insane. So my base power is now 312,000. My assist power is 391,000. 1,400,000. ,000. A few jumps later and we're already lapping the board one and a half times. You're doing 1.5 million every single jump for 1.5 million dollars, which is ridiculous. And that also buys us $10 million pets lots. So there's an uncommon, which is still 31,000. So now we're able to lap the board once and so close to twice, which means we buy even more pets, just a common. Does my luck refer to this wheel too? I want the luck. I don't even care about this secret pet. But now that I look at these, that's actually plus 140,000. Why would I not buy one of these? So my epic super rare pet is 38,000. This one's 140, which I feel like is going to propel us to new heights. This is going to keep going and going. That was one lap around the board. This is two laps around the board. 2 million, 2.5 two million. So it's definitely very easy to buy new pets at this point. It takes 4 jumps or less. You think you can make a shiny one of these? I want to find out if you can make a shiny one of these. We're going to need 4 more of these. Okay, I officially have 5 of those, but can we actually, can we craft them into, oh, we can make that into a shiny. 420,000. Well, that's just fantastic. Our base is now about a million. Our boost is over a million. It's 1.3 million. Look at us go now. I have a feeling we're going to have a really, really good jump now. That's three laps around the board. That's about four laps around the board. That's pretty ridiculous. We started jumping like, I think less than 100. Now we're going 4 million, soon to be 5 million or further. He just keeps flying and flying and flying, touching down all the way here. And what do we get in reward for that? A common idiot. It's crazy to think now that I'm jumping almost 5 million meters that we're still only in second place. I also didn't see before that the VIP actually gives you a luck boost as well. That's all I want. Luck boost for the rare stuff. And more luck up there, of course, but we're never going to get it. Okay, I just jumped 5.5 5 million in a single jump and we're definitely in first place now but <laughs> we're able to jump a long ways there's two million that's three million three and a half four million five million and three quarters so i'm gonna triple buy this because i feel like that's helpful somehow common 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 that's actually really bad luck oh but i do have five common so i can actually craft them into some kind of monstrosity <laughs> that's worth eighty-four thousand, and that's gonna look something like this there's one million two million three million uh seven seven laps <laughs> seven million well all right i'm pretty satisfied with that we need to collect as many weights as we can to get as strong as we can and even if we don't pick them up we get one strength per second because then once it's time to toss we can throw an itty bitty pencil almost 1000 studs which gives us almost 500 coins which is about half the amount we need for our first pet luckily the game started again so off we go with our giant pencil and it's touching down around 600 studs i need to lift some more weights by the end of this though we're going to be the strongest being in the entire universe and then we're going to pick up the entire universe and throw it across the multiverse i don't care how many robux we have to spend well it looks like my uh, total strength is up to 813 now with a base of 320 whatever we're gonna throw this and see how far it goes we're definitely earning here 1.7 thousand studs worth almost a thousand coins so let's go ahead and open our first idiot
Uh, we have a common chance of the legendary. There's a 1 in 200 chance of a legendary. Uh, we'll settle for the blue bubble for now. Uh, because he's obviously going to add some strength. The base strength goes up from 350 to 850. And for those of you out there that aren't really good at math, that's a really big increase. So I've shuffled around. We're up to almost 3000 strength now. So let's go ahead and give this a launch. And that's going way far down the road. We're going to get 5,000 studs just from doing that, uh, which is great. But the next pets cost 200,000 and then 5 million and then 50 million. And there's even one over here for presumably money. So let's just go ahead and open a few more of these basic pets. Hopefully we'll get a legendary, but a blue bubble is fine too. We also got a green bubble, which I think is, yeah, uncommon. Well, long story short, we're just going to go to equip best. That's going to give us uh, this one for a thousand and these two for 500. I have three of these. I'm not sure if we can combine them. I sure hope we can. If we can't, we could probably just put them in like a hydraulic press and push them together. That would probably get the job done. And also not really sure what this is. Rebirth to unlock. Yeah, that only costs 50 million. So it's going to take a second before we get there. Though we are up to 7,000 strength already. Uh, plus I'm pretty sure everything we pick up now gives a big, big boost. So let's run right up the line and launch our thing. How far are we going this time? We can't even see the track anymore. And we've only been at this for 10 seconds. 15,000 studs. Okay, turns out there's an evolve thing. There's an evolve button right here. I'm just stupid so I didn't see it before. We've evolved, I think, into this one green idiot. No, we actually uh, have two different ones. One's yellow, one's green. This is the evolved one. This is the uh, unevolved one. Uh, timer's counting down, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this, and it hopefully lands before we run out of time. Then we'll make some money before the round ends. There's another 15,000. Oh, time's 0.5, so we only get half that value anyway. All right, well, in between that, I guess I'm going to be opening pets to hopefully get enough to smash together into a better pet. But to be honest with you, I really have nothing better to do with my time. We really are just getting, uh, well, that was the first slightly better one we got that was rare. The rest were literally common and uncommon. So after all that, we can evolve one of those and we can probably evolve a few of these. I don't know if they change into anything useful. But as far as the pets are concerned, we're just going to go ahead and equip the best. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. And we just need to top ourselves up with a little bit more weights. Then we combine those with our 14,000 strength and we launch our pencil into oblivion. We're up to about 28,000 studs. We should get $14,000 for that. We can also buy better items uh, that presumably go further and look better. So let's try a golden pencil. I do think that will give it some kind of boost at least. Uh, I don't know if we actually equipped it now that I think about it. But we're still going 28,000. And that just means we get a direct comparison from 28,000 if this goes 50% farther, which I think it might. Or we'll actually go considerably less far. But we get 1.5 times coins, and that's important. Okay, so the pencil I got is heavier, but we make more money, and that's all I care about. We gotta make money. That's how we're gonna break the laws of physics, using pencils and weights. So after collecting some more weights, we're gonna do another toss. This one actually went really, really far, considering what this is. 35,000 times 1.5, there is 50,000 coins. So we're already halfway to our next pet that costs $200,000. I just realized our strength is up to 40,000 already. So a few more tosses like this, and we'll have enough for that next pet. Yeah, this went almost, oh, that did go 50,000, that's $75,000. And we'll just launch again right away. We're going to make that money. And at the scale, the bottom goes up to 100,000 before it's going to lap itself. But we have enough for a $200,000 pet and then some. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with shapes, these are now triangles. Hopefully a very rare, uh, I think that might actually be a rare one. Yep, there's a one in seven chance of that. And that's going to be well over a 10 times boost compared to the other ones. So real quick before the timer runs out, we're going to launch that pencil into a blip and it's gonna go a long ways that took us from 50,000 to 80,000 just like that that's worth 120,000 coins by itself then we're gonna get the intermission so it cuts my strength back down once it starts again we'll start picking up more weights back in the board we got five minutes to go we're down to 36,000 strength but I'm pretty sure the more pets and everything we have the more each of these weights is gonna give us one more quick toss into oblivion should bring us over 200,000 for another pet this one's already going way far down the track, 65,000. So let's scoop up another pet. This time we got a green pyramid. It's obviously not going to be as good, but it's still going to be quite good, 15,000. So combining that with our previous pets, and we're going all the way up to 80,000 already. We got three and a half minutes left. We've already saved up enough for another $200,000 pet, blue pyramid, which is the most common one. There's a 50% chance of that happening. It's still five times better than the basic level pets though, so I'm really not going to complain. We're just going to keep launching this thing into oblivion. Maybe something bigger than a pencil. This only went 90,000, which is still really, really good. So we're going to launch it one more time and look about buying something better. So we're now breaking through our top strength for the first time. Gravity is still a solid one. But one new pet's going to fix that entirely. There's another rare one. So that's going to be a big boost. So real quick, let's give that a try. 
launching the very same pencil. 100,000. We've hit the end of the track already. Uh, picking up these weights is giving us like thousands of strength per weight at this point. So I can see how this is going to get pretty ridiculous pretty quick. Even with my half-hearted effort at doing this. But pick up the weights, throw stuff, throw bigger stuff throw bigger stuff. So I just bought the water bottle. I think I straight up just bought it with coins. Uh, I didn't realize you could just, yeah, you can actually just buy things straight up with money. So we're going to skip to the book right away because it gets a slightly better boost. Uh, it gets a boost and it, it's a weight of a simple one. Anyways, let's launch this thing and see how far it goes. Oh yeah, I should probably equip it first. The book is equipped. Take that learning. Let's see what you do now. There's 50,000 studs, there's 80,000, and we hit 100,000 still. Worth now 80,000 because we get less money than the golden pencil. But I think it's more fun to throw a book if I'm going to be completely honest with you. So with the last 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and throw this book a few more times. Going all the way from the beginning, hopefully landing a little over 100,000. And got it. $613,000. So I can buy three $200,000 pets. Hopefully they're all amazing. That's a good one. That's an even better one. There was a 1 in 20 chance of that one spawning than a green pet. This one is a 40,000 boost. So that's going to give us a big boost. But we can also evolve this uh, rare triangle pet. So that's going to go from 25,000 to something outrageous. 50,000. So our base strength now is 106,000. All right, well, let's put these uh, pets to the test and give it a launch. Go book, go. I want to get so far that we go like light speed and we just warp around the board. But I feel like we should be working away with the items more. This is 80,000. Uh, it's slightly more boost, but slightly more weight. But that's fine by me. Let's see what it's like to throw a keyboard. Something we've always wanted to do. And this probably is starting to get kind of heavy. Just about 100,000. Just going to go ahead and launch this a few times. Just to save up a bit of money. We need better items. So after a keyboard comes a monitor. Which unlocks the bed next. But we're definitely going to throw a monitor. Especially for that kind of big boost. So throw that into oblivion. I think the boost refers to the money. So this is about 80,000 times 1.1. 1 .1, 87,000 coins. Okay so let's buy the bed then. For uh, 1.3 times boost it's definitely getting heavy though we gotta get so strong to throw this stuff like this thing's not gonna go anywhere oops that's the monitor again but it's okay it's a curved monitor we'll get over it now we're throwing big boy stuff an entire bed launched into oblivion that's not going nearly as far as i'd hoped so we're not gonna make a ton of money off that but there's not many players in this lobby right now so these weights are all mine yeah, after picking those up we can now throw this thing 58,000. so it's getting better now i'm assuming we only can throw things about 100 so let's go back to the keyboard because we whatever it is we want to be able to throw it to the 100 mark no more no less so the keyboard might be about perfect right now because it's going to be the most money for the effort so i'm going to spend the next five minutes throwing this keyboard down the track which allowed us to very quickly save up 961,000 dollars every item now gets a lot heavier though so we need to be really strong to throw some of this stuff like a nuke or a mountain what i really need is a five million dollar pet so i'm just gonna throw this keyboard for the next few minutes straight down i never really paid that much attention to the auto button yet but i can see now why it's gonna come in handy because it's gonna do this all by itself making me eighty five thousand dollars every time we just broke five million coins so that means we can buy our first five million pet this is where it would be really good to get a legendary but uh, we'll see what we land on. I'll settle for anything, like blue block. Uh, and even a basic common pet is 100,000 boost. So that's going to replace the 15,000. So that's an 85,000 boost. So we're going to take just a moment to pick up some weights and then walk over and toss our thing. But we're not just going to toss any old thing. We're now going to toss the sofa again because that's a weight of four. Correction, we haven't bought that yet. We're going to toss the bed first with a weight of three. But there's a pretty big boost on that, and I think we're going to do pretty good with this. Thanks to our new pet, we're touching down at just about 100,000. So this is going to be our new money-making option. We're just going to toss this thing for the foreseeable future. And every time we do this, it's going to net us a total of 130,000 coins. And it is grinded up another 5 million, so that means another 5 million pet. This one is another blue block. And that's okay, that's still going to add 60,000 strength. So let's see what our giant bed thinks of that kind of power. And that launched it 93,000. So this is pretty much going to be what we launch, 121,000. Our strength is up to 255,000 now. So we're doing pretty good. And picked up a few more weights, 93,000 studs times 1.3, 121,000 on autopilot. A few productive minutes of autopilot later, and we've got $13 million to spend, which means two pets. One blue block, which I think we can evolve into a super blue block, and... 
a green block. So the three blue blocks are 100,000 each when combined. I think they turn into this monstrosity with 200,000 strength. That is absolutely ridiculous. And that puts our base strength up to 364,000. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up a few weights this time. Every time we pick one up, it's an extra 1,500 strength. 460,000 should do it for now. Let's launch this bed and see where it goes. Uh, so far, yeah, it's touched down to over 100,000. It's time for a bigger item. Probably a sofa. This costs $250,000 by itself, but it's got a boost of 1.5 times. Go. I um, didn't forget to switch the items again. Sofa, equip, and launch. <laughs> Bigger and heavier than anything we've thrown so far. And it's making its way down the track. It hit 100,000. But that's worth 150,000. We need a bigger item. A container. 1.5 million. These are getting expensive, but that's a big boost. If we can actually uh, get this down the end, then we're going to be in for some big money. A whole shipping container all in one. And 92,000. So it's just in that sweet spot. 150,000 every time we're putting this thing on auto. I've always wanted to throw shipping crates through the air. We were throwing keyboards like 10 minutes ago. Now we're throwing shipping crates. I can't wait to see what the next hour brings us. Not only have I saved up another five million dollars, I've also bought something called the magnet. So now anytime the weights spawn in, well they basically go to me and no one else gets any. But that just means as I sit here I'm just gonna get a lot stronger anyways. But for now we'll settle with another five million dollar pet. It's a simple blue block but that adds 50,000 extra power. So just to take a little walk that should put us up to almost 500,000 weight power. Which might be just enough to get our shipping crate to full 100,000 which means we can escalate to the next item. 100 1000.07. So after shipping container comes warehouse shelf, that's one extra weight but bigger boost. And it's really expensive, so I'll see you in a minute. I decided that now is about the time when we're gonna need a few boosts, like two extra pets. So now if I go equip best, we'll simply get two extras for an extra 100,000 power. So that means the shipping crate's easily gonna hit the 100,000 mark, thereabouts. And as I go pick up some of the weights, literally the whole thing goes into me and we're at 734,000. And we also have the money to buy the warehouse shelf, which we're going to. Then we're going to equip that and launch it into oblivion, a full warehouse shelf going down the runway. And that landed at about 100,000, so that's perfect. We're going to set that to auto. I did sort of uh, also increase the number of gold I get, so I'm going to get about 400,000 every toss. I really quickly saved up another 5 million, so let's buy us another pet. We have room for 5 now, so these are really going to make a difference. Because now we're replacing 40 with 110,000, which is a 70,000 increase. And since I'm over here, I might as well walk around and pick up a few more weights, which puts up to 700,000 strength and that should be enough to toss this thing 100,000 it might be getting close to time to buy the next item the next item on the list is a car it goes up by about 33% in weight but the boost is bigger so we're going to go ahead and buy that and then equip it and then for the first time we get to throw an entire car down this thing it's not super aerodynamic the way it flies but it is going pretty far we can settle for that that gets us 350,000. I can live with it. Not really sure what happened here. I went into the menu and came back and suddenly the car just didn't stop going. Saved up another 5.7 million. I think we need a better item though. So we're going from car all the way up to tree, which is another big boost, but another 10% boost to our earnings. Plus that also cost me uh, a lot of money. That was millions of dollars by itself. Oh, okay. We're still auto going. That's fine. Uh, the tree, we might need some extra strength to make launch though. We only got 60,000 on that one. So let's go ahead and pick up a little bit of extra weight and see if that's enough to make the difference. Otherwise we're going to need more pets. So off we go with the enormous tree. 77,000. I don't think is going to be enough. So let's step back to the car for just a minute. This should be about a hundred thousand and that's a much more efficient toss for us okay time to pick up just a few more weights this might be able to do us with the tree i just realized how big i'm getting this guy's getting jacked oh i do have over one million strength so the tree might be a thing now at least we're gonna find out it's got a pretty good trajectory so far 70 80 99.88 that's perfect we're gonna crank that on auto for a few seconds and make that money a few very short minutes later we've got 24 million dollars to spend so I think we better start buying some more of these pets. Eventually we'll combine them into bigger, better pets. There's a green block. And let me guess, another green block. Oh, it's a yellow block. I kind of forgot I could open three of these at a time too. Anyways, the blue block is worth 130,000. So we're going to go equip best. And then we're definitely going to combine some of these into a super pet. So these are going to go from 110,000 to something much better. I think that's straight up doubled them to 220,000. So equipping the best now. 
Our base is 775,000. Uh, our strength is over 1 million already. My body and arms get bigger. My head stays the same. I could only stare at the VIP area for so long before I had to pick it up. And then we got uh, 1.5 million. So we got 500,000 in an instant. Which makes me think we might be able to take on the house. It's got a 2.5 times boost, but its weight is very heavy. But look at the size of me. This guy is ready to throw. And go. <laughs> We're throwing entire houses through the sky now. And this looks like it will hit 100,000. Perfect. Now every time we do that we get half a million dollars. So now I just let the house throw itself really. That's the key. It's all in technique. Just let the house do all the work. Okay, the game reset. So I'm back to 4 minutes left on the timer. But I just pumped my strength up to 1.5 million again in an instant. And as long as I'm in this VIP zone, uh, I will just magnet all of these pretty much instantly. And I'm gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm already bigger than this tree. <laughs> like, look at the size of me. But more importantly, why that's exciting, is I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to launch the rocket now, which weighs 15, which is way more, but it's also got a really good boost. $5 million to throw a rocket? Why not? Will our 2.2 uh, million strength carry it to the end zone? It looks like it probably will. All right, off you go for three minutes and nine seconds. We've just saved up another $32 million. <laughs> My guy is getting awfully big. I just wanted to walk around a little bit so we could bump our strength up to three million and i want to buy the nuke it's six million dollars it weighs 16 but you get a three times boost out of it and for the first time we're gonna throw a giant nuclear bomb it's okay it's going a hundred thousand studs away so everyone will survive probably and then we're just going to continue to do that for $600,000 a toss. All right, a few minutes of tossing a nuke later, $32 million or thereabouts. My guy is huge, but as soon as I take just a little walk, our strength jumps up to 3.4 .4 million and I get even bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, this is uh, starting to get a little bit stupid. Uh, luckily, I'm a little bit stupid, so we're going to keep going. We're going to go from nuke to UFO. This way, 17. So I imagine it's also pretty big. Yeah, it's a reasonable size. We can assume it's very heavy. Uh, it's probably aer uh, very aerodynamic anyway, so it can fly a long ways by itself. But since we have so much stupid strength, let's move straight up to Pyramid. I think we're going to be able to launch this the full distance too. And it should be worth a lot of money. There's an entire pyramid. This is probably 4 trillion tons. We launch it the whole way, that's worth 800,000 per toss. And this one just feels good. It feels like I've accomplished something here today. But you know what's even better than a pyramid? An entire mountain. Uh, this is a pretty big jump up in uh, size, but it's also got a five times boost. So we're doing this. This also costs like $12 million. So I've actually spent all of my money doing this, which I didn't really realize before. But <laughs> there's an entire mountain and it should make us the money back pretty quick. That's definitely going to full 100,000 easy enough because my guy is absolutely huge. But that gave us a million dollars by itself. This is a million dollar toss, so we're just going to let this go. The next item to throw is an asteroid, but it costs 80 million dollars. Luckily, I know a way to very quickly accumulate 1 billion coins. So let's pick up the asteroid for a time 6 booster, but it weighs 22. This is going to be far and away the biggest item we have. This is a regular mountain. It is that big. The <laughs> asteroid is considered considerably bigger and heavier but boy is it worth a lot of money that alone was worth 1.2 million but also uh yeah we're definitely getting pretty big i just want to take a little walk around to gather some strength to see how big we would get and we literally are like almost as tall as a tree now uh we're definitely pretty muscly and big at this point uh every one of these little weights i pick up adds a ton of size there's five million look how big we are we're uh yeah we're enormous and i pop back to zero as the round resets but that's okay because i've easily got 50 million dollars to spend on three of these these are going to be even better pets we got three mystery spheres uh i might have bought more of them there's an orange one i didn't mean to buy that many but that's fine the orange one is 600,000 by itself so let's go to equip best and we just <laughs> suddenly pop to being enormous so we'll walk over here for the red weights and then we'll evolve everything i can which is the mystery spheres for sure and you can see we dropped down because our strength dropped but this one's now worth 900,000. if we equip best <laughs> our strength pops back up again our base is 2.4 and then picky up weights adds on top of that so we're enormous to start with and we only get bigger so let's open a few more of these this is only 50 million dollars so what have we got to lose and one more time maybe and then we can walk off that thing lots to choose from so we'll go with equip best for a second our base strength is three million but we're gonna combine some things like the mystery pyramid maybe and i think it's actually all we got but that's okay you just go to equip best and see what happens there's so much boost from those three and one quarter million just from pets like when i'm my base size i'm looking up at these things i'm just a tiny little thing compared to where we're at 
So let's see how that works. We're going to toss the asteroid and I think we're going to have 100,000 EC. So the moon, $100 million to buy the moon. That's a pretty good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and toss the moon finally. We're tossing the moon down the runway. We started at a pencil, which weighs like a few grams. The moon probably weighs more than a few grams, probably dozens even. And it gets us, I think, 1.2 million every time it lands, which isn't a ton compared to how much money we need to do this stuff. 1.4 million, my mistake. Uh, you know what? We're going to buy Mercury. We want to throw an entire planet. Mercury is way bigger than the moon, by the way. And that's good because we have 7 million strength to work with. We could literally pull this tree out of the ground and use it like a club if we chose to. We are very big. So let's give it a toss and see what happens. We're throwing entire planets at this point. I don't even know how to quantify that in weight. We're talking like super mega ultra tons or something ridiculous that I don't even know exists. I think the important thing today was we got to throw planets and that's all I really wanted to do. Plus make a guy that's really ridiculously big and strong. I mean, how could you not love him? Look at him. He's enormous. Today, it's all about the size of my neck. The bigger it goes, the better we're going to do. It's already at what we would probably call an unnatural length. But when you compare it to some of the other people here, we've got a little ways to go. We're currently getting 0.1 studs per second, which is the growth of our neck. But if we complete games based on our neck length, we can increase that. Like, we need a 28 to get through here, but not too much, so we can go over that. This one back to zero, so we fit through the shapely hole. We're good at that one. Then at this one, we've got to do what's called a snap jump, so when we get close, we jump and press uh, that, and it's supposed to pull us up to our head, and we can get over the wall. And then there's games like this where we have to snap jump all the way to the top, but that wouldn't actually be that hard to do. It's just kind of time consuming. We gotta raise our head, then we gotta go and jump and give ourselves a boost. We might be able to make it to the top as is. Or we might be stuck here waiting a little while. Okay, we barely made that. We've got a few more layers to go were we to make it. But I, get a, I do get a nice view of all the other games from here. So let's try this one again. Snap jump. Okay, you gotta do that really close to the wall. Conveniently though, you freeze right before that. So you can go over there. 45 studs, which would be about that big. We'll go 47. Then we got a snap jump at 52. Oh, we're not quite big enough. We might have to cheese this a little bit. Ready, go. Jump and oh, so close. Right now, I feel like this guy. Okay, I've got one more jump to make for the big victory. Press R right about here, and we cleared it. One victory for us. Give me that thing. One win. So now I get an extra uh, studs per second boost, at least for a few seconds, and then we're back to our baseline. It looks like we can buy our first pet for two wins, so I just need to win that game one more time. And there's a cool ocean I want to cross, but we're going to need a longer neck to do it because right now we drown. This jump might be a little bit close given that I don't almost have enough clearance to get over. Uh, that didn't count? Where's the hitbox on that? Okay, cleared the stupid wall, got this second big head. One more win. So now we get a basic egg for a basic person. What's it going to be? A dog. A common dog. Which gave us an extra 0.01 studs per second. Which makes me think there's actually a better way to do this. Okay, we're once again going to use our snap jump to see how far up the wall we can get. We have about 50 uh, stud length. It's probably not going to be enough to reach the top, but it's got to be closer. Uh, closer to 80 now. This might almost do the trick. Ooh, it might be closer to 100 before we get to the top. 90 is enough to get me up that step, but that's definitely got to be 100 up there. But I can see the big giraffe over there and some kind of laser experiment going on up there. And there's definitely some big tall stuff in the sky. I maybe got distracted for a second and this happened. Our neck can be this tall, which is actually a good deal of the way up the tower without even leaving the ground. Makes it a little bit hard to navigate from here, but at least we can see the height of uh, the difficulty. So that's one jump and we're a little bit far from the wall, but you get the idea. We're going to be able to scale this thing in no time at all. Uh, even from there, we can skip the last like two steps because they're probably like 100 each. So now we get another win. We probably could have used better our long neck there, but I'll take the two wins because then we get another pet anyway. And that's really what it's all about. I just want a friend. We got a Doog, which may not have made any difference to my studs per second. I also bought better luck for pets, so I'm not really sure how I ended up with another dog. But it is what it is. I've now waited so long, I have 168.5 studs. And it seems like it wouldn't take that long to make that. But I actually had a few days to have food poisoning in between then and now, so it actually took quite a while, but we're going to pick up right where we left off. By trying to complete the wall jump, we're just going to jump up again and again and again and see where that can get us. Because I know uh, 173 should get us to the top of this for another few wins for hopefully another pet. That was more than enough. Give me that thing. One more basic egg for one more basic idiot. This time we got a rat, which is uncommon. 
I would assume they're already all equipped the best, so we're up to 0.13 studs per second, which is still very slow. And because this so far is quite slow, we're going to make sure we can have an extra two pets equipped, despite the fact we don't have two more. Then maybe extra two times activity wins and neck growth, just for the sake of actually making some progress here today. We need a neck that can touch the end of the universe. Maybe that should be our goal today. We're going to have a neck so long that we put our head outside the universe to see what's out there. We can actually watch it grow in real time now. If I keep pressing E, it keeps pushing, putting us to our max height. I gotta get to the top of that wall. So for this one, apparently we only need 50 neck length. I'm not really sure how this works. You snap jump to get to the platform, I think is what it says. So you gotta kind of navigate along here. Uh, I think there's probably an easier way to do this, but I don't really know it offhand. So we're just going to kind of do that. And then we're going to try it along here. We could probably just make this, sh never mind. Okay, this time we're going to go actually uh, proper neck jump. Got to do that a few more times, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. The hardest part is knowing where to land because you don't really have a top down view properly. You're kind of estimating where you're landing. Luckily, guessing and estimating is a large part of my life in general. Now we got to keep our head above the water, but below the spikes. That seems reasonable enough. So we go down there. We just go up a little bit and camera angles are probably the hardest part of this. If we go down a little bit, this one's just time consuming and annoying. Uh, this one, we've got to go just a little bit higher, but we've also got to be careful to navigate through the gap. Something like, maybe we should zoom in a little bit. That's easier. Then I think we can't touch the red part, so we got to go like this. Then I think we can just jump there and jump there. Uh, this one I'm not going to risk. We've made it too far. Slow and steady wins the race now. Oh no, I don't know what I just touched. Okay, well, um, that one takes a long time, so we're going to take a look at this one down here. This one gets us eight wins. It's a pretty hard difficulty, but we'll see how far we can get with a 90.82 neck length, which is not very far at all. We're probably going to need at least 200 for that one. Though, to go across here, 95 studs or more, low. Uh-oh, didn't mean to do that already. It's painful being this dumb, but we have 101, so we should be able to just, uh moving ramp our way across that our head is above the water we look very happy we are the best little giraffe there ever was mega skyscraper is 20 wins i don't think we're gonna get to the top of that there is a pretty giraffe there's hole in the wall here there's also a better egg a jungle egg we need 15 wins for that we definitely don't have 15 wins so let's see if we can go through this this is only three wins this should be easy it's uh okay this one moves pretty quick 45 studs going up Snap jump, so we're going way up. Then we gotta press that. Ooh, I might have mistimed that. I'm gonna blame the controls. That has nothing to do whatsoever with my skills. It just takes a long time to get the uh, trophies on this side, so it's weird you have to save up for so long to get over here. Okay, we're gonna do a bigger snap jump, and got it. And we're going to the top. Whoops, uh, all the way up, please. Apparently, you can sit here. I just don't know why my head wasn't going all the way up. Snap jump, 130. Oh, you can actually sit here because it's not red on the bottom. So we're going to wait for 130 and then we're going over. The problem now is I'm stuck against the wall. So if I go up, oh, I can still do this. Okay, perfect. So we'll snap jump and then we got to stay on zero studs. And then we got to go way up. 105. Can we make it through? Where are we? Yep, just barely. For all that incredible stress, we're going to get six wins times two, 12. And then we get a 44 second boost where we can use it to stress ourselves out with something new. A goose pet? I honestly thought that'd be a lot more expensive. I'll take one of those. Why not? So now I've got four pets equipped. That puts me up to 0.4 studs per second, which is way ahead of where we just were. But I did also buy my progress. So how many times can I buy this goose? Maybe we can just totally break things by just continually buying things we're not really supposed to buy. That actually made a difference. 0.55 studs per second. So this tower is obviously at least 1400 studs tall. There's a guy up there, probably him, who's 1,400 studs away. You can actually do the math to figure out how big those are. I'm too lazy, but we need to be way taller to finish that. So let's take our five good pets and cruise across the ocean again. Trying to find the game that's most efficient, which if we were much stronger would be this one, but I don't know how to get to the top of that. There's a little thing right here, actually. For now, we're just kind of sitting here waiting while we inch incrementally taller. What we definitely need is one of these for 15 wins, so we need another uh, 9 to get there. But at the rate of our growth, we should be able to get some easy wins somewhere else. I'm just really curious as to what this thing is. Now that I look at it, I see it's actually a window, so I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. We just observe it. But we'll take a nice look. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm just uh, growing past your window for a second to see what you're up to. So we'll walk our very tall selves over to this uh, medium skyscraper, we'll call it. That'll give us eight wins, I think, times two, so that'll give us what we need for a better pet. 
So let's see how far the current uh, about 200 stud neck length will get us. I'm hoping actually quite a ways up here. So far so good. We're up to the purple zone. We're just in, okay, we're into a different purple zone. Maybe just, probably not this one though. We only got another few to go. But that also might be like 300 studs by the top. But we do get a nice view. There's a coming soon zone that we're going to get to see. We've done that one already. We've done this one. That one's annoying, so we're not doing it anymore. And when you zoom out, you really feel how short we are still for doing this tower. So I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes. Okay, maybe a minor change of plans. We're up to 413 studs. We're still not even to the next level. We are way up here, though. And for the sake of doing something ridiculous today, we're going to have to go ahead and buy a little neck length. I don't love doing this either, but for the sake of uh, results, we're going to. So that was an extra 100 length. That didn't even get us to the next one. So let's try 500 neck length. When in doubt, we just pay for things to escalate. Unreasonably so at times. So we're now 1,030 tall. Oh, I didn't realize I could extend actually. So that was kind of dumb. But with a 1,030 far, wow. Can we not actually reach the next level yet? That's, um, okay, this wall is ridiculously hard. I was sitting here thinking this would take like five minutes to be able to just naturally do. So we're gonna have to buy a thousand neck length. We now have a 2,000 tall neck. We still can't do it. What? How do you get to the top of this? You buy more neck. That's how. You just keep going and going. We will not be defeated. Okay, I might have done the neck thing wrong again. When you snap jump, it takes you- Okay, yeah, I was wrong. We, <laughs> we have a long neck now at least. Well, rumor is the neck is still growing today. What is that? There's something up in the sky. What, what is that? How do we get there? I know I wanted to get to the top of this, but I'm curious as to what that is. Can we get there? Okay, well, for now, uh, we're going to do this ridiculous jump, try and land on this. I think we got it. Directly. We're going to take those wins for whatever reason. Then I'm really quick just going to buy a thousand neck length to start. Mostly just so we can cross the water. And buy ourselves a jungle egg. This will hopefully have something amazing in it. A rare axolotl. Which will take us from 0.55 studs per second up to... 0.67 which might not sound like a lot but that's actually pretty good so we just need a few more of those pets and yeah i'm just shamelessly gonna buy them at this point because i think it would actually take like weeks to do this naturally and we don't have weeks so we're just gonna buy our progress okay so we bought some more of these i don't think i bought triple hatch i don't really care because we at least have time to open these one at a time it doesn't take that long there's another axolotl i think we can combine pets at some point too if we get enough of them there's an uncommon monkey and a rare sleuth if we equip best now, that gives us 0.88 studs per second. I don't know if there's pet combiners in this or not, but I'm still curious about that uh, floating platform in the sky. I think it's probably too far to jump to, but maybe if we have the height, we can actually jump onto it. In theory, if we're, if we're strong enough, like tall enough, we probably can do it. So we're just going to add a few thousand mech length at the cost of I don't know what. And still my beautiful floating platform eludes me. I gotta see what's up there. So every 1,000 length costs 548 Robux. I don't know what that actually costs, but I don't really care. I've got a golem. I really can't tell if it's getting closer or not. This is gonna drive me nuts. Like I'm over 10,000 studs tall at this point, which is pretty ridiculous. I've just purchased myself another 22,000 roughly Robux, which is hopefully enough to get to the top. Uh, that should mean we'll be able to buy another 44,000 length, which might seem excessive because it is, but there's a platform in the sky that I don't understand. Uh, another thing I never really noticed was a floating castle kind of in the middle of the area here. I should really look around more. The trick is, it's kind of floating over the water, so I'm going to have to do probably a really big snap jump to get there. Which is okay, because I've got a lot of uh, height I can use to do that. So let's go all the way to the top. Uh, this isn't our top. Hello? Why does our snap jump not take us all the way up? This is going to take, well, only a second. Anyways, we're going to snap jump and move forward. Not quite, but they're actually kind of close. All right, maybe a few more thousand and we can get there. I bought myself up to 31,000 uh, height. Uh, the game might physically limit you to 2,000. I just realized for the first time it kind of stops me there. So I might have just bought a lot of height for absolutely no reason at all. Did I at least make the leaderboard not even close? Hmm, well... It was a fun experiment. There's a platform in the sky, but we limit out at 2,000 physical heights. So yeah, whatever. Today, I'm going to be putting various things inside of me and you're going to watch. The more things we do, the bigger I get, the bigger the things I can put inside of me. For example, we can eat small leaves. Clovers, not so much. And I think I get experience just from moving around, also from jumping. So we'll see how ridiculous we can make this today. I want a slime that consumes the universe. 
Ants probably are going to be too big for us. So for now, we'll just settle on some of the little stuff. We're cleaning up nature by absolutely destroying it. Mushrooms we can actually get a hold of. We're punching above our weight class. This is a nice little pocket of leaves and water drops. And there's a man mowing his lawn and a child on a swing. I want to be so big I can absorb them. And I just got a reward. I think because I played for long enough, it hasn't been that long, but I'll take a reward. Which leaves us at level 12. We're slowly getting bigger. Can eat that clover. I do want this mushroom though. Can I have one of these? Not quite there yet. Oh, it, I actually got it. I hit level 13 and now that mushroom is inside of me. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the sandbox. I should be big enough to crawl in there now. I don't think I can absorb the toddler, but hopefully I can soon. I'm also just realizing now that bigger slimes can probably absorb me, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> Maybe also the wildlife, I'm not really sure yet. I did just take down a rather big clover, and we're definitely getting bigger because the grass is starting to seem small. It used to be as big as a forest. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and take all that. Yep, give us our stuff, get us bigger. There's a giant slime going around somewhere. He might absorb me at some point, but I'll get bigger than him eventually. Squirrel, I'll get you eventually. Ah, uh, there's the big slime cruising over. He's so quick too, I'm not going to be Oh, wow, look at him go. I want to be that big. Am I big enough for the ants yet? I want living creatures. Nope, not quite big enough. If I sit here and jump for long enough, I will level up. Then I can take all the ants. There's gotta be something good after making my way up over this. There is a lawn gnome that's way bigger than I am, at least so far. But for now, I'm content with just absorbing this sort of stuff in a small garden. There is a reasonably big slime over there, but he's not that much bigger than me. And I hit level 19, so I've gained some size. I might actually now be big enough to eat some of the ants, but there's so much good stuff right here. I'm just gonna sit here and grind for a second. We'll get some easy size. Yeah, we just hit level 21, so let's go see how many ants we can fit inside of us. Oh, I've got to be bigger than that idiot. We're so big now. I just realized, yep, three points per ant. They just <laughs> keep walking into me. It's crazy to think that grass actually used to be like a forest to us. We couldn't really see through it. Now it seems tiny compared to us. It's a little bit hard to compete with the slimes that are that big because they absorb everything from everywhere. So I just get the leftovers, but eventually I'll be big enough. I think that big slime is absorbing that child, which is... Fun. I want to be big enough to absorb humans. I can't even do stupid acorns yet. It's going to be a few minutes. And I just got a reward that I think is a boost to jumping and speed for five minutes. And that means easy experience for me. I can zoom around now. Super speed leveling. Those clovers are pure gold. Since I still have the speed boost, let's go explore a little bit to see what else we can put inside of us. Like a frog. All right, stupid, get inside of me. Not quite big enough. What about a dragonfly? That's a little smaller. Oh, you're not supposed to fall on that. So it looks like the gold I'm collecting can be used to buy capsules. I might as well save up for an epic. So that means it's back to the grind. I did restart back in the center of the map, but there's lots of stuff right here to put inside me. About to level 25, so that should hopefully mean we can put acorns inside of us. Nope, we cannot get the acorns yet, but we're getting closer. I found the ants again. These aren't even great experience, they're just fun to eat. Plus these little weeds, uh, they're be actually better than ants. Children's toys. Oh, I gotta be a little bit stronger to eat all this stuff, but this looks like fun. Chess pieces? Anything? Nope, too intellectual for me. All right, we need more size. I did also get a calculated trail. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe this is the best area for leveling now. We're about to level 26. The long clippings are just always going to be there. Time for my revenge, stupid frog. Get inside me. Still not quite there. I did also join a mini game uh, because I assume it's going to help me in some way. I basically just need to get to the end before time runs out and I think it's this way. There is a capsule up here. I shouldn't be getting distracted and this is a very dangerous spot. I think that's a capsule. I fell. All right, well, apparently I got whatever that was and I'm happy with that. Now I can get back to what's really important putting things inside me. I wouldn't mind consuming this bird at some point, but we're gonna need a little bit more size for that. These are different kind of ants that look a little more aggressive. They're still not great experience, but I can't spawn camp them, so that's just easy experience. What are you gonna do now, stupid? I wonder if we're ever gonna run out of ants or if I could just sit here endlessly. There's so much fun stuff everywhere. I just need to get bigger. I have found the first slime that's smaller than me. Oh, we can't absorb them though. That would have been so much more fun. I did find some actual food food. There's a hot dog and a corn cob, and I think these are olives. All very good things to help a little slime grow, at least until it's big enough to consume toddlers and people. Oh, I can actually take the corn right off the cob. That's super good experience. And then it's just the cob. Uh, the spiky hot dog, however, we not yet can consume. I got, that might be an epic capsule. Uh, shovel, is that a pig? Hold on, get out of the way. I think I mean, is that a pig? No, it's a dog. I will consume you, wiener dog. Just you wait. I have equipped the new slime trail to the coin laying thing so now i leave a trail of coins behind me boost cap so level up even faster i didn't know i could buy things like that yeah give me one of those okay so i get double xp for 10 minutes i should pay more attention to the shop things i've just been enjoying consuming things uh i think i just ate the dog's bone which is a pretty big item so we're obviously getting pretty large we found some screws and tools over here so that should help us get bigger especially double experience give me that 
Yeah, that's easy. These clover patches are always a favorite too. Another alien lobby. I'm not going to do that this time. I'd rather just eat things. So level 30 apparently is when we can rebirth. And rebirth usually makes us get bigger faster again. So before doing that, I did uh, two times rebirths. So now when we do, we'll get better boosts from this. Max level 90, three times XP multiplier. So we're back to being a little slime, but we're also getting mad experience increase. So, and we're also really quick because we got some uh, lots of capsules when we started for whatever reason. We're already back to level eight. The ant seems so big again, but don't worry, we'll be back to that size. You look like gelatin. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous at this point how quickly we're uh, leveling up. I wanted it to be faster, but I didn't expect it to be this fast. Yeah, things are going to start escalating really, really quickly. And I already got another capsule, which I think gave me an XP boost. I accidentally clicked through it. By the way, stupid, these are my clovers. Okay, that put us up to level 17. So everything we touch now is pure gold. Like even eating this little bit of stuff, like look how far the experience bar moves. Clover patches like these right now are pure gold 171 experience for all that and places like this full of olives and everything yep the bigger we get the more uh, we can absorb because we're touching more things all at once this place is a gold mine look at all those clovers the corn and the cob is here this has got to be worth a lot yeah that's hundreds by itself so we're already back to level 30 and 30 is where we left off before we rebirth so the more we can do that the stronger we're gonna be soccer ball i should probably just spawn camp the corn i can just do little circles here and get crazy experience I still can't eat the big blades of grass. But yeah, I can definitely make this little lapse here because the time I'm done this little loop, everything's back. The corn's already respawned. This is the second most excited I've ever been to see corn. Is that a stack of waffles? I'm competing with a stack of waffles. I can't compete with that. Uh, unless I overload myself on corn again and again. That's so much experience. I'm going to go ahead and boost myself a little more. Uh, we're now getting twice the experience. So that's a little better. Now we're getting 25 per ant. We are getting pretty big. Can we, we even got the cob now. Uh, blades of grass still not quite there but the cob of the corn level 40 just like that that might be big enough to eat birds and or squirrels probably not him yet but we'll get there what do you think squirrel no but we can bully him around a little bit how much does the corn give us like 500 these days that's so absurd i don't know what kind of psychopath drops whole pieces of pizza on the ground and doesn't eat them but i thank him for his service because eventually we're gonna eat those can't get the baseball. I just ate something fairly large. I didn't see what it was, but it might have been a flower or a blade. Oh, we can get the blades of grass. That's tons of experience. Look how much those are. All right, we're going to take on a nomadic lifestyle. We're going to go getting the big blades of grass. And in between those, we're going to get some of those clovers. But we're a grasslander now. For these flowers, we got to be getting closer to those. Even these little tools are good, but grassland is... Uh, what we want and look at all the grass here this is supercharger level 50 just like that look how big we're getting just sitting here staring in circles all the way up to 55 already i think 90 is when we rebirth and we're gonna get there before you know it wait what's a food capsule i can buy one of these for 200 Ooh, can i get one of these in real life oh i missed i clicked through it i've had too much coffee a spoon does this spoon do anything? Okay, well, we're going to buy an epic capsule just because we can, because I'm disappointed in this spoon. Aesthetic palm tree hat. I'm not sure what any of that did, but okay, that's fine. We got stuff now. Since we're over level 60, let's go see what we can consume now. Hopefully this bird. We look way bigger than the bird now. Get inside me. Oh, they're too quick. We got the whole corn in the car, but about the can? Not the can, but the ants. Oh, we can get the pieces of pizza now. Oh, they're actually surprisingly low. Spatula, no flower petals? Nope. Ooh, big hot dog. Everyone loves a big hot dog. Okay, we can't get that one. We can get the little hot dog. That corn should be no problem. 600 experience. Baseball at this point. This is fun. Suddenly we're able to absorb so much. Take all the ants. We can't even fit through the gap. Acorn? Yep, we got the acorn. That's big experience. Ooh, squirrel. Get inside me. Nope, still not. Bird? Can we get the bird? Bird's too quick. The frog. I forgot about the frog. Get inside me. Gulp. Yep, we got the frog and the lily pad. I'm on an eating tour. Pinecone? Pinecone is big experience. I'm not sure what the most efficient lap here to do is right now. That toddler is also not super far out of our reach. We got a sandcastle. That's great. Dominoes. Oh yeah, I forgot about all the toys too. We might be beyond this area now because we've actually gained a lot of size. Take some dominoes. Oh, the chess pieces. Yeah, the chess board is pretty good experience too and all the jacks. Probably not the shoes yet, but we'll get there. Give me these little ants now without the boosts are worth 40 something experience. Still can't take out the flowers. Oh, we got the squirrel though. Our first living thing of uh, relative importance. Squirrels are going to go inside me now. And we made a loop all the way back around. I bet birds are worth a lot. We need more speed though to get birds. They're too quick. Squirrel on the other hand isn't even that much experience. We work so hard to put squirrels inside of us and there's so little reward. The grass might still be the best use of my time. As long as I'm going in between the tall blades of grass, 
uh, and pick up everything in the middle, I don't think anything's going to stop us. Still can't get the wrench. We did it at level 70 though, so now we can get the wrench. Tools are not out of reach unless you're a screwdriver. Okay, now that we've hit over le level 75, I'm pretty sure we can eat the pretty flowers. Yep, we sure can. Don't have a crazy amount of experience, but there is more things we can consume while we're cruising around. And we're at the size now where we're almost always eating something just because of our mass. So moving through an area like this, yeah, we just gained like 5 levels in the past 2 seconds. We even got the bird! The bird is a big experience. I think this guy used to be big. Yeah, he used to be way bigger than us. Look at him now. Just a little slime. So we'll go rampaging this way. We can't eat the bottle. Soccer ball is still bigger than us. But we'll be there soon. There's a cat. The cat's actually not hugely bigger than us either. I remember when I used to go in his garden eating the clovers. One little leaf at a time. I can't wait till I'm so big I'm just like a universe destroying slime. My existence is going to turn the universe upside down. Mm, can't get the ball of red shoes. The chess pieces we can do. The chess board we can't yet. Well, we could take the toddler's toys away. That's fun in itself. Well, at least a sandbox. There's another bird. We're going to ambush it from the sky. Got it. All this good stuff. I never really noticed there was something kind of behind the pond. The pond kind of scared me because I fell in it that one time. You might have to jump to get in there. Oh, I can jump that high maybe. Uh oh, don't get stuck. I literally just said don't get stuck. Okay, we got out. I'm not going near that again. Maybe I am big enough to go through the pond though. Uh, we seem to be. It does a weird thing, but we get the lily pads anyway. Lily pads are a decent experience. Something there just gave us like thousands of experience. Oh, it's just these patches with flowers. I gotta get into more of those. Sorry, uh, I know you're doing good gardening work, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it from here. We even need the top of that tree and the dog's dish. Oh, cat. Can we do this cat? Not yet. Coming for you soon, though. There's so many things to put in my mouth. It's so distracting. I never know what to aim for. And there is level 90, which means we get a rebirth, which means even more boost. Plus a whole bunch of capsules that have restarted all my boosts. We're now a baby slime. Well, we're not actually. We're already level 10, just because we're getting experience so ridiculously fast now. So we're currently smaller than an ant. But now we're already level 20, so we're going to be gigantic in absolutely no time at all. We can already eat mushrooms and clovers, no problem. Even just going down this grassy patch right now is getting me so much experience from all this stuff like by the time we get to the end of this we're gonna be four times the size of what we are now just gotta try and aim for the most densely populated pack of this stuff oh we can actually get a free ride if the lawnmower pushes us so now we're moving at light speed to be, <laughs> be able to absorb all this experience oh never mind but we are beginning to eat the grass pieces again and that's crazy experience and our beloved corn is back that gives us almost 1000 experience so i might just eat corn for a little bit with a side of ants here and there because that's just funny i never realized there was two corn side by side so i can just go to this this corn, you know, do a little loop here, turn around, eat the other corn. While leaving a trail of ants along the way, it's perfect. This might be the most efficient use of my time yet. And I'm talking about like my entire life. Here at level 75 is where things are going to escalate again because I can eat the flowers that are growing everywhere. These are everywhere and they're massive experience. And we're back to level 90 which is where we left off. So we're on to bigger heights and uncharted territory. I still want to put that cat in me. But we'll get there. Now we can even see what's like on top of the barbecue. There's food up there and I ate it. We're going so quick, we're coming up on level 100 already. We somehow always end up back by the picnic table, probably because of the corn. Still can't eat the sunflowers, but maybe at level 100. Any moment now, level 100. We'll see what else we can put inside of us now. Still not the sunflowers, but there's got to be something new at this level. By the time we figure out what it is, there's a big pie up there. Uh, we might be onto level 110 anyway, in which we'll be able to eat even bigger stuff. Look at this little garden, full of goodies. Oh, we can even eat some fence panels. What about this shrub? Give me the top of that. Yeah, that's easy. Level 110, I've circled the entire yard. Still can't get that cat, but soon. Oh, there's a bunch of pizza on top of the table. I could just start climbing on things more. We couldn't see that before. That's actually a really bad experience, considering how hard that is to get. I'm not sure what the best path is at this point. I think I just need to cruise around eating whatever, whatever happens to be in the way. This might be my ultimate goal. This old lady, gonna get absorbed. Coming up on 120 pretty quick. That's gotta be something good. What about a soccer ball? Look how big we're, we're bigger than the ball. Still can't eat it. I'll take the pizza for now. And the barbecue hot dog. You see so much stuff when you're this big. We just absorbed the cat. Okay, I know where there's another one. We'll go get that one too. I know there's one hiding behind the doghouse. Got it. Not super good experience, but pretty fun nonetheless. Maybe you should just cruise along the grass path the whole time. Each individual blade is a crazy experience, but look how quickly it adds up. I can just cruise around in circles here and gain huge mass. That guy might be bigger than me. It's hard to say because he's a stack of waffles that has syrup coming out behind him. There's another cat. Yeah, definitely should be more experienced considering I already have to work to get here. Can I have this? We can. $180. Alright, I just redid some of my little speed boosts and stuff. Not sure if we're actually moving faster or not, but we're moving at a pretty good pace now. Lots of stuff to absorb. That's also a pretty big slime. We're level 130 now, which means we can eat most of the sandbox stuff. 
not the toddler yet, but pretty much everything else. We're king of the world. There's nothing that can stop us within this yard. I did just absorb a dragonfly. I don't know how much experience that was worth. I haven't really been paying attention to the dragonflies all along. I'm just trying to find the high value items everywhere. We just broke through 140. Can we get this kid or this kid's phone? Either way is acceptable. Nope. We could explore a little more of the pond. I can get those reeds or whatever they are. There's a bowling ball out here we can't eat yet. There gotta be some good stuff in here, right? This is a hard place to get to normally. Give me all your stuff. I don't know what we ate somewhere out there, but we just gained like five levels. I keep doing that once in a while. I eat something very valuable, but I don't see what it is. Was it something back here? Was it a dragonfly? Get in my mouth. No, nothing there was crazy good. We did eat a lot, no. Are we big enough to eat the dog yet? We gotta be getting close. We're level 149. 150 might be dog eating size. 150 was our max? I thought we could go bigger than that. Can I eat a dog? We've got work to do. And just like that, we're back up to level 150 and therefore bigger than ever before. I realized that if you just circle the tree right here, there's actually tons of stuff for you to eat and absorb especially with magnet power and we can eat the soccer ball not sure what that was worth but we can finally eat it and at this point there's really not a lot of things that we can't eat I'm not sure about this guy yet can we get you nope we would have gotten them already. We're so big now we cover the entire swath of the lawnmower cuts. Nothing is safe from us. 160. We're actually not that far off the size of an adult human at this point. So how does level 163? Nope, still can't get the dog. And we just hit level 170 so we're gonna celebrate with a lawn gnome and hopefully a toddler. Get in here. Toddler? Nothing yet. Yeah, we'll go ahead and jump up here though and see what kind of stuff we can absorb. Pretty much everything. The yard seems so small when you're this big. What about this child? I think they're bigger than the other one, so I'm gonna need a little bit more size to get that one. Okay, we hit 180. This might be big enough for this guy. Still not. Maybe it is not allowed. I hope so though. I want to put people inside me. Kind of forgot about the dog, but I think the dog is bigger, bigger than the toddler, so it's going to take a little more size again for that one. We just hit level 200. I think that means we can eat a bowling ball. Yeah, we sure can. 15,000 experience for all of that stuff. I don't really know individually if something was worth a lot, but we are pretty big, so we can absorb just a really wide area. We can even eat the fences themselves at this point. 200 is... And the dog! We got the dog! We didn't get the dog house, we did get the cat. What about the barbecue? I don't know if that's even eatable. But I've got a toddler that might be. Yeah, we got the toddler, $1,000 for that. And they got a special reward for that too. Stolen baby. 210 is a soft limit for now, but we consumed a toddler, so at least there's that. There's level 221, officially bigger than we've ever been before and absorbing things we shouldn't be absorbing. You really start to appreciate the art style when you've circled the tree one billion times. But we're getting so big that we're absorbing things from like a mile away haven't been in this corner in a while, we basically just eat everything. We could jump right out of the yard if we were allowed to, but instead we'll just go ahead and eat everything within the yard. And there's 230, which should mean some new possibilities. I'm hoping a child on a swing? Nope, we've got a little ways to go for that one, but pretty much everything else in existence can be ours. Definitely the dog, maybe the dog house. Not the dog house, but everything else in the universe. Level 240 might make some differences, just as the toddler respawns, we go ahead and absorb it. Gonna try the child on a swing again? Nope, still not quite there. Can jump up, up here on the porch though and see what we can get up here pretty much everything including the furniture 250 might be the golden number it was we got the child off the swing at level 250 don't suppose the old lady comes with that deal nope i did just notice there is a ball on top of this place though can we get that what does that take? Well, I can push it around. It might be something that needs super high level. So at level 265, we'll call it. We can take on furniture. We can't take on adult people. Uh, the beach ball is just going to wander around and annoy us for now. The barbecue? Nope. We did do the stack of tires and probably that tire to the toolbox. That might also mean the doghouse. Because we're getting everything else. It's relatively that size. The doghouse counts. Uh, she doesn't. <laughs> the child on the swing. Always a fan favorite. Gonna be 270 pretty soon. And that should mean more stuff yet again. Rebirth. Well, I was able to absorb most of everything. Good enough. Today, we're going to obliterate the speed of light. And that's probably gonna take a few minutes. Because we're currently this fast. But I've got time if you do. The goal of this game is to keep upgrading your speed until you're the fastest thing in the universe. While we're waiting for the race to start, we need to click as many times as we can. That's going to increase my speed. So to start without using my auto clicker at all, we're going to get to about 130 clicks. Which obviously is a big increase to the speed, so we need to run as far as we can. And we've out of an AFK button, so I don't actually have to sit here for this part if I don't want to. But I'm going to sit here and watch him hop along anyway. We're up to our first victory. That's one point. We use the flags to buy upgrades. So you can see we're not exactly the fastest on the map yet. These lines going past are people moving at light speed, but we're going to get faster than them. Turns out flag number three is really far away, but we did get two, which isn't even halfway enough to buy a basic egg, let alone one of the really, really good ones. It costs 250,000. 
I do get a free spin though, and that's going to obviously add up to two times luck for 15 minutes. Uh, and now it's time to click again, so I'm going to use my auto clicker, and that's going to help get us a little bit further. Clicking time is over. Yeah, that feels faster. So off we go. It's on AFK mode, so as soon as the race starts, it launches me into it. There's flag number one. And number two. I think this is me here at the bottom. We've obviously gone basically nowhere. Everyone else is lapping us a thousand times. <laughs> but there's number three. Smash through it onto the next one. By the time this round ends, we have seven trophies in total. Our top speed is 485. But we can use that to buy a new pet, which is an uncommon flame. And if we equip that, that's going to give us plus 200 speed. And it's already ready to click again, so I'm just going to do that manually. And we're off again, this time only 363 speed because I didn't use my auto clicker. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to buy two times clicks. And I'm also going to increase my luck so we can get rarer pets. I want to be a blur of light too. But for now we got five wins, which is enough for another pet and we have much better luck about getting better pets. So let's take another one of these. Hopefully it's something absolutely amazing, an uncommon flame. I'll take it. That's going to give me another extra boost. I'm going to use my auto clicker again to make this work. So we'll go extra, extra, extra fast. So doing that has pumped me up to about 1000 speed. And that looks something like this. We're definitely going quicker. It's hard to get the context right now, but we're flying. Especially considering we just smashed through door number three and we have a minute 40 left. And there's 10 wins, 10 wins in a single race. And look at that down the bottom. We're getting so close to the next notch. Okay, I can actually buy three of these now because I have $15 to spend. And that's going to give us three commons. But I'm pretty sure I can actually craft those, yeah, into a better one. Because that gives us almost as much as the uncommon. Another race done. We've got 13 flags. So let's open more a few of these. Hopefully we get one more uncommon. Perfect. And then a common on top of that. But we can combine those uncommons into a better uncommon. Now that's 187. This is 250. I've also bought the in-game auto clicker at this point now. That way I don't have to do anything at all. I can just hang out and watch it go by. I've been at this for like 10 minutes already and everyone's still going by me so quickly. We're going to need to put in a lot of time. But since I already have 15 wins, I'm going to save it for 25. We can start getting better pets for better results. And we also get to find out how good the game's auto clicker is. Our base speed is 657. Yeah, the game's auto clicker is way better than mine. Our top speed's now up to 1.3 thousand and that's going to keep going. Okay, we've over doubled our speed thanks to the in-game auto clicker. 2300, off we go. Yeah, other people aren't disappearing quite as quickly anymore, so that's a very optimistic sign. Plus, we're breaking through door number 3, 149. We were doing 140 before. We're way faster. I mean, just look at them go. Look at those tiny little legs. I just broke through the 500 meter mark. Hey, we've got 48 flags to our name. That means we can buy one of these. We have a 0.03% chance of one of those, so that's what I want. Not sure we're going to get that. We got a common ghost which is still 650 speed. So that removed 150, so that gave us a 500 speed boost. And the auto clicker this time seems to be giving four per click. Don't know why, don't care, I'll take it. Three and a half thousand speed. We're like 50% faster than we just were, so off we go. I can't wait to see how fast this can go in the end. And look at us on the meter down below. We've almost passed the first bar. We're three quarters of the way through it. He always just looks so happy to be getting his workout. He's really just appearing happy though. We're forcibly making him run again and again and again. His whole existence is running faster and faster for our entertainment. But speaking of which, we need more pets. We need very good pets. Common ghost and a rare skull. The rare skull is 775 speed. So if we put all the best on there, that's 650, 650, 775. Plus the auto clicker, so we're going to go extra quick. I just realized I can see other people's top speed. That one's 66, there's 173,000. I'm going to upgrade to two times wins also, so whatever points we get every race, it's now doubled so we can get those rarer eggs faster. I've officially circled the board once. I'm onto the yellow zone down here. We passed one bar. That left us with $113. Which means we can open three of these. Hopefully we get something extra extra rare. Nope. But I've combined them all into what I could, so we have an 812, 775, and 700. He never breaks. He never flinches. That's got to be bad for his brain. But he can't have had a very good one to start with if this is what he chose to do with his life. But we're at the 1 minute mark. We're just about to hit the 1000 mark. So we'll go almost 2000 on this one. But we need to go over 100,000. So I crossed onto the new board with about 36 seconds remaining. So that's a good sign. And that's going to keep escalating pretty quickly from here. That actually gave us enough to get this color egg. So we're going to open one of these. And we're going to get an even better pet. It's common, but it's a globule. And that's 1750 speed, which is actually really crazy. 
then I'm gonna go stretch my legs while this idiot makes me a bunch of money. So our pets are now worth like 4,300 extra speed. And my extra clicking is apparently reading plus nines. I'm not sure if that actually matters, but look at our speed go. That's gonna go like over 9,000. Those pets really do make a difference. So if I can happen to find a better one, that would be awesome. Okay, our speed's gonna be about 10,000. That looks like this, and everyone else still blows past me, but not as quick as they did before. And we're coming up on uh, flag number three, but we do need to accelerate up to top speed as well. But we're gonna buy faster acceleration so we don't have to wait as long to hit top speed anymore. I've already gone off the first bar on the bottom and we're not even a minute in. And by the one minute mark, we're almost at the $25,000 line or $10,000 line. So this is gonna make us really rich really quickly for even better pet pets. I guess the pets are also just forced to do this with us. They're pretty much like a battery pack. We just use them until we're done with them, then we toss them in the garbage. And I'm about to hit the end of the next bar, so we're actually suddenly making really good progress here. We're coming up to 100,000 as the next stop. We're not going to make it this time, and we're not a blur of light yet. We might be to some people, but I feel like we're not that fast. Okay, that left us with $491. So we're going to buy a few more of these for sure. There's a rare one. That's going to be insanely good. And another rare one. Uh, those are 2,000 speed by themselves, so we're going to go ahead and equip everything we can. That's a huge bonus. And our speed is going to be 30% faster than it just was, plus the extra acceleration. And that looks like this. Okay, we're flying out of the gate. There's two, there's three. <laughs> that was quicker. And we're actually so far winning. We're the fastest in this lobby so far. That guy might pass me, but we have more acceleration. And we're actually about to hit the 100,000 mark, so we're going to lap the entire board. That's the first time we've ever done that, and there we go, blowing through the first gates again. Now that we've got thousands of dollars to spend, we're going to buy thousands of dollars in pets as soon as I can manage to control this ridiculous speed. Alright, we need two of these extra rare type pets. It's a common banana, but that's going to be a really good common banana. We got an uncommon cherry. Uh, I think I do want some more of these uh, 25 win ones too, because if we combine them all, they could actually be better. There's a rare skull and common ghosts. So we're going to uh, craft them all into whatever they can end into and equip the best. The new ones are 3,700 and 3,500. So our speed is up uh, hugely again. There's one gate, two gates, and three gates. He's running in like slow motion. Look at him. We're going so quick that we've moved backwards. But since we're on AFK mode, we're just going to let him run for a little while and build up some extra money now. After that last race, we're left with $6,500. So it's time to buy three of the rare $1,000 pets. Hopefully we get two rares and a common. Okay, we're going to open another three of those to hopefully get at least one more rare. Then we can get a, well, we can turn those into shinies. And we're getting so quick, like I touch the arrow key and I cross the entire lobby. And that looks like this. There's gate number one, two, and three. And our acceleration is so stupid, we're way out in front so far. They'll catch us and pass us, but our speed is up to uh, 23,000. At this one, I've definitely gone around the board a few times, and we've made many thousands of dollars again. So let's open more of these. Hopefully we get another rare for a shiny rare. There we go, a rare droplet. Which means we can craft that, and that goes from 3.9 all the way up to 4.9. So that's an extra 1,000 boost, plus all these clicking. I think we're going to have a new speed record for ourselves. I've come back a few minutes later, I have $55,000 but seem to have broken the game somehow. Okay, so we're going to open uh, three of these, which are $10,000 eggs, which means $10,000 pets. Commons and uncommons. Luckily we could open another uncommon, and another uncommon. But that means we have some pretty uh, intensely strong, 12,400 plus two eight and a halfs. And that's put our top speed up to about 60,000. So it's not crazy yet, but it's definitely getting there. So after that we could buy one more $10,000 pet which gave us a rare lucky. The speed of that is 11,300 by itself. The problem I'm having now is it seems to be hard to get our speed above about this. But I never noticed you could do these temporary boosts too, like we can get 15 minutes at three times luck. Why would we not do that? And three times wins for 15 minutes? I don't know some of these stacks, so we can use the three times win first and then the two times, and apparently they do. So we can just stack all of this up, and then we're going to get some phenomenal luck. So then when I buy a $10,000 pet without getting... St I'm stuck. I legitimately can't move anywhere because I'm too quick. I don't know if there's a way to slow down the walking, but it doesn't seem so. I think that's because I boosted my acceleration too much, so whatever the case, we'll just dive into this next race. Uh, our top speed is uh, we've broken a new record, so we're going into 72,000. And that's going to look something like this, which is very quick. There's the gates. Plus, we're going to make a lot of money and stuff this round because of all our temporary boosts. Okay, we finished this race, $41,000. The hardest part of this is actually trying to just buy the right pets. I actually landed right where I needed to that time, so we're going to buy three $10,000 pets. 
Common, common, and common. That extra luck is really coming in handy for us. So I guess we'll buy one more. We got another lucky rare. So if we can bind them all, that's going to give us a nice boost. So we have 12,000, 11,000, 8,500. If we craft them all, then we can equip them all. 12, 11, 11. I didn't realize the next one only costs 75,000, so we can actually save up for that pretty quick. A few races later, we've hit almost 100,000 top speed and got almost $100,000 in the bank. Then I ran too fast and ran straight off the edge of the map. Now I'm stuck. But just letting it run by itself, I am getting incrementally faster and faster and faster, so I'm all for this. Okay, it's only 75,000 to open this one, so we can afford a few of these. We got an uncommon disco, which is better than a common. One more is simply a common called snot. But they're 19 and a half and 18,000 respectively, so that's going to be a big boost. And while we're waiting for the next race to start, let's spin the wheel a few times if we can. And that's going to land us on 2 times wins for 15 minutes. Plus 112,000 top speed, so that should get us to new heights. Time to buy another $75,000 disco, which gave me a six or $7,000 boost by itself. And we're going fast, but we're not going fast enough. So let's try the limited Halloween egg. When we open three of them, uh, I got something epic out of that. So apparently that's plus 50%, plus 70%, plus 60%. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, that simply adds plus 75% speed. I feel like that's pretty unreasonably strong. I'm not entirely sure how those new pets work, but I had them equipped until the clicking was done and then I equipped the new pets so I have 130,000 speed currently. Which definitely makes me one of the fastest people on the map, like we're lapping everyone, we're now the blurred lines. I think the lines we're seeing are people that are stopped. I've decided to clean it up a little bit too and hide all the pets. They're still there, you just can't see them. A few minutes later, once you look at that, we have enough for a $250,000 pet. The hardest part is just landing properly on there, but we got poison, which there's a 34% chance of. Poison's also good for 29,000 boost. Then it's back to blowing through the gates at light speed and beyond. What do you think's in here? A mythic meme egg. <laughs> it's completely garbage at this point. But our top seed's up to 150,000, so that was the first, like, six gates. And we're blowing through other gates all the way along. There's another one, and we're about to hit another one, and there's the first third of the track done. Alright, to help expedite this process a little bit, I've bought some more points. Not a ton, but enough to buy one more of these super rare pets. And we got another poison, so if we get one more of those, we can make a shiny poison, which would be unreasonably good. So all this has pushed our speed up to about 160,000, which is really, really quick. And I'm pretty sure that's without the acceleration boost, so we're moving along at a pretty good rate. Time for one more ultra rare pet. It's a common heart, which is still actually better than my shiny whatever. Look at the top wins, 14 billion. I've got 41,000 currently. So I think the next logical step for this with this blazing speed is to let this run for a few weeks and see how quick we come back to then. For now, I'm pretty happy th with this result. I mean, he's literally going like two times the speed of light. Today, I'm a skinny little guy. But if I work hard enough, I can turn into a really big strong guy. Or whatever this thing is. So it looks like currently my weight is a pencil. I can lift a pencil. Every time I do, I get a little bit of strength. And I think every time I do that, it actually goes up. So I'm just going to sit here and lift this pencil for a few minutes and get ripped. Everyone has such better weights than me. I'm lifting a pencil. This guy has actual useful stuff. Aside from that, I can turn into something from your nightmares and spear the air. <laughs> and apparently people are fighting. I didn't know that was a thing. But that guy's got it figured out. He's just standing in the middle lifting. Okay, to use the better weights, I need 1,500 strength. But to use the bench press, I only need 450. And I can't seemingly use the treadmill at all, so I've got time if you do. I'm going to lift this single pencil and get absolutely ripped. Wait, I'm just looking at what the guy in the background is doing. He's just walking on it and lifting. Maybe this is all you're supposed to do is just walk like this and that helps somehow. Yeah, I think it does. My energy is going up slowly. This is good. Now we're multitasking. And I'm not as skinny as a straw anymore. I'm actually looking more like a reasonably sized person. And because I did whatever this stuff is, I get rewards of crystals that I spend on, I think, things like training twice as fast. Or maybe just unlocking new areas. We'll figure that out eventually. For now, I've got my routine. Okay, something's happening now. I don't know if I'm leveling up or what, but I'm glowing. After a few minutes of treadmill lifting, here's my stats. 377 strength, 44 energy, 362 health. And I ranked up to lifter. I get 250 endurance. And I clearly need endurance, because I need to keep lifting this pencil again and again. The pencil does get bigger as I do though, it's actually a pretty girthy pencil. But I made 450 strength, so I think that means I can use the bench press. There we go, these are more my style. Really good form too, so um, we're just going to do this for a while and hopefully this actually makes a difference. I've also unlocked sit-ups, so I can also do <laughs> sit-ups like this, which looks like something out of a nightmare. I don't really know what's better, but this looks fun. It looks like I'm on fire and trying to put it out, so we're just going to let him have this for a little while. 
Look how much bigger I am than when I started though. Like these are the starting characters. I didn't realize I got so big so quick. This is the dislocated shoulder sit-up. It's very good for your core and very bad for your shoulders. All right, time to explore my newfound size. I'm only 818 strength, but that's still much bigger than where I started. But to go to Candyland, I need 10 million strength. So might take us a while to get there. I can also spend my hard-earned crystals on different things that actually gives me better stuff. Like I could buy a stick instead of a pencil. That's plus 30 strength, 300 crystals. So now instead of lifting my pencil, I'm lifting this stick and boy does this look good. So I'm just going to let him have this for a little while. I'm back on fire again, but I'm gaining a lot more strength every time. So I'm going to go drink some coffee and contemplate my life choices while this happens. So by this point, 1.5 strength, 52 energy, 883 health. And after 1.5, I can do this one, <laughs> which is probably pretty good for a few muscles. So we're going to let him do this until he either gets ripped or dies of exhaustion. But I also got another bonus, plus one energy. Wowie. <laughs> All right, we're just going to let it run just like this for a while. Wow, that didn't take long. Almost 3,000 strength. Look how big I'm getting. Speed might be an issue. I'm not exactly a lightning bolt. And <laughs> now I can also do uh, this <laughs> for some reason, which is great. And to buy the next weights, I need 2,500 crystals, so I gotta find a way to make more of those. Because I want to be as big as that guy. So I'm just gonna put myself back to work until we get somewhere. I, um, bought the auto clicker and got distracted for a while. <laughs> so now I'm this big. I have 13,000 strength. I'm already so big, I literally couldn't see myself when I started because I was such a little stick. But since things here seem to be all about the rebirths, I think I'm going to do just that because I finally have just enough. That costs 11,000 strength but gives me a bonus. And now we're back to this thing, so we've lost a bit of size. But we're going to get it back and then some. Especially because I have all these presents ready to go, so that's going to load me up. Plus I have new exercises like mountain climbers that get me strength a lot quicker than before. That one alone gave me plus 58 strength. Plus, I have enough crystals to buy the teddy bear. Which obviously helps me exercise all the better, which helps me gain strength all the better. There's another 163, but it looks better when I'm wielding the bear. 143, so it's still pretty good. But in order to get big again, we're going to need to do this faster. Two times strength when lifting. We're also going to get double weights and faster lifting. Plus, we're going to add super lucky and lucky. Oh, that's better. Now, look at <laughs> we're getting bigger in real time. We're pumping that bear and we're getting a little bit of size every time we do. And we've opened a pet for some reason. Uh, it's an epic bull warrior. I don't know where that came from. Or how long I've had eggs for, which have made us even quicker. Uh, we're going to get faster opening. We got another bull warrior. So I'm going to have two of these helping me now. And that's going to help me get a lot more. Even the pets get bigger. My pet is bigger than that guy. But we're not big enough yet, so we need to pump some more iron. And that apparently helps pet each other. Look at how big that guy is. I want to be bigger than him. Okay, luckily we do get so big so quick now, I've already made the strength we need to rebirth again, and that's going to give us even more power. We just need to start as this itty bitty straw man, which has unlocked us places like heaven, and I didn't even notice. And that brings us here, which is interesting. Oh, here's where I opened the pets. $2,500 to open a pet? Yes. That gave us a basic angelic bunny, even with all my extra luck. I did get an advanced punchy smoke, whatever that is. Okay, the angelic bunny is way better. More strength, more health. Uh, punchy smoke apparently is not a pet, it's an item, so that's fine. Oh, it's an effect. Now I have a punchy smoke bear, so we're going to sit here and pump this iron, and we're going to get really big really quick. I'm already 2,000 size, and I'm on fire. So the bigger I get, the more stuff I unlock. The more stuff I unlock, the bigger I can get. I also don't really move any faster as I get bigger. And I suspect the only point of coming here would be to get the pets. But that's alright, because if anyone else comes to heaven, this is all they're going to see. A giant man lifting a teddy bear repeatedly. But we already have enough for next rebirth, so we're going to go ahead and use that. No, I'm back tiny again, but that won't last long, because we get so big so quick. Okay, I've also equipped my double weights that I bought, so now I can lift <laughs> two of them at the same time, so we're getting extra extra big. I need five rebirths to go to the underworld, though. And I do want to go to the underworld, so we're going to need a few more rebirths. So now when I spun back in as a little stick, I'm going to get mega big every time I lift this weight. So now I can spend a single day in a gym and get absolutely enormous. I could be the strongest person in the universe. And I ranked up. But that also means I come here to the underworld, where there's hopefully new pets to buy. Just as soon as I slowly walk my way over there. $5,000 for a pet? I'll take it. Give me something obnoxiously rare. Unique Hellimp. That is crazy good. 750 strength, 70 crystals. So I need to sit here and pump some iron until I get more crystal so I can buy another one of those things. That didn't take long thanks to the auto clicker. We now have 53,000 strength. 
And yeah, we'll spend 5,000 on a Magma minion. It's only basic, but I bet it's still amazing. 60 strength, 60 health. Now that I become an obnoxious giant in the underworld, I feel like we can go back to the main zone and get even bigger. I can see now how 10 million strength would be possible, considering the amount we're already going up, and that's only going to get bigger. <laughs> like, we're already as big as the island is. Uh, I apparently got so big I touched the glacier, I need 120 rebirths to go in there. So we're going to have to keep rebirthing a lot. I give myself 100,000 size, which is uh, <laughs> this big so far, and it's only going to get worse in here. The moon is supposed to need 10 rebirths. We don't need 10 rebirths right now. We can just buy our way in. And it appears the pets here cost 7.5 thousand crystals. And somewhere out of nowhere we found 250 thousand crystals so that seems cheap. So let's open a few of these. Hopefully we get something amazingly rare. We got a blue pulse which is rare. And a space dragon, also rare. This time we're gonna get auto deleted fireflies. I'm still not sure. I guess they auto delete when I buy them because they're not good enough. I see how that works. So mostly we didn't get those things because they weren't rare enough. Except for the space dragon, he made the cut. 180, 180, so that means a bull warrior is getting unequipped. Actually just straight up sold. Didn't really realize you can get rid of the stupider ones. And some of them are actually reasonably valuable. Like if I sell this guy, I get 185 crystals. Okay, so say I want uh, these things are better. So I can just, they'll auto delete if I do happen to open them. I want this one though, 0.13 chance. I want that all day long. I did get a galaxy skull, which is epic. So that'll help me out. It does all of this, so we're going to unequip I don't know what yet. Then I'm going to make my way back to the main hub. Luckily I can teleport because while walking is a little bit slow and I can assert my dominance here for a while. This guy used to be the big guy, now it's me. I'm looking down on him and we're still going to get bigger. What happens if I headbutt now? I'm really big, so does that cover like a big area? It does. I also have a lot of different things here. I don't know what most of these do, so I'm going to double weights for now. I'm starting to get to the point where I can't even zoom out far enough to really properly capture the scale, but I'm getting bigger. It's a little clear when I turn off all the UI, but then I have no idea what I'm doing. So next, I think we're supposed to go to Olympus for 50 rebirths, otherwise known as a thousand Robux. And this is where we get some new kind of pets because, well, we can afford it. We got a unique uh, melee slashes. We auto-deleted an epic twinkles, apparently, because we're auto-deleting up to here. That's probably fine. We'll just keep opening until we get Hydra Serpent and good things. And Ancient Warrior, and I think that about fills out our pets. I'm not as sold on the Ancient Warrior. 700 strength is fine, but the other ones are still better. The melee slashes thing is definitely better, though, so we can sell the other two. It's definitely peaceful here with no one to annoy me, so let's make ourselves bigger. So we're getting like 3,000 size every time we pump these weights. I don't know at this point if I'm actually getting bigger or not. But I'm still going to keep pumping that iron. I've just realized in order to get really, really big really quickly, we're still going to have to rebirth. But we rebirth so quickly anyway, it's no problem to build up a multiplier. Like I lifted weights once, we went from invisible to this. 3,000 per lift. So it takes us like 4 seconds to rebirth. And that no doubt gives us a multiplier. So here we go, we started small, lift the weights once. Twice, three times. Curiously though, the rebirths don't seem to be giving me a strength multiplier anymore, so I might need better tools. So after the teddy bear would come the book, the bottle, I think you need to work your way up to make these work, so we're just going to go ahead and buy our way to the hammer. Which is 50,000 crystal, so that's not cheap at all. Why do these get so expensive? This costs 38,000 crystals. Uh, it also gives you 220,000 strength, so that's kind of obnoxious. There we go. Just the hammer we needed. Even as a little guy with a hammer, I'm going to get 5,100 per uh, swing of this hammer. Hmm. That kind of makes you think those weapons are going to get absolutely ridiculous because that's a huge multiplier. Like, we can already rebirth easy. But you know what? 5,000 strength per swing isn't good enough. We need a bigger weapon. These are going to get expensive quickly. This one is only 100 crystals, actually. That's not bad. So I've worked my way up to a magical dumbbell before uh, it basically won't let me spend any more money. But even this is pretty good because as it is, we're getting 11,000 every time we shake this dumbbell. So we need better pets, and I think the best place for pets is going to be the desert, and that's not cheap to go to either. Which means we can buy some pets. This one's going to have an omega effect. That one's just like straight mystery. 1.8 million? We can't afford pets here. At least not yet. So for now, I'm just going to sit here and pump some iron and get absolutely enormous. My strategy right now is to pump some iron, gain some massive size, and after a few seconds, I'm allowed to buy more crystals, so we're working our way up to the super pet. And I think I now have enough. Given how expensive this is, I'm not going to auto-sell anything, because that seems like it would be really stupid. This is extremely expensive, and it's a basic cactoid. I've definitely never bought anything this expensive before, but it's actually not really super good overall. And one of the problems of being this big is that menus overlap because I'm simultaneously in both zones. I want the pets to go away. I want to buy some of this stuff. Okay, I straight up rebirthed. That way I could get out of that zone and finally buy a weapon again, but that put me way back here. 
Yeah, I did spend a lot of money buying the next tool. These are so obscenely expensive that I almost can't believe it. That's where I want to go, Candyland, 10 million strength. Luckily for me at this point, every time I lift my weight, I'm gonna get 16,000 size, which puts me this big already. Then that big, so I'm basically as big as these guys. I'm just gonna slowly make my way over here where nothing's gonna get in my way, and then I'm gonna lift this weight until I have 10 million strength. I'm already 100th of the way there, so how long could it take? I've actually just crossed 1 million strength already, so that was quicker than I thought. We're definitely getting big. This didn't take as long as I thought. 10 million strength. All from lifting a single chair again and again and again. But it's pretty safe to say I'm currently the biggest person on the island. Probably the biggest person in the universe. But let's use our newfound gigantism to enter Candyland. And that looks kind of like this. And I'm assuming the benefit here is going to be the pets. Which are strangely cheap. So hopefully these are amazing for their price. There's an epic minty dragon. And a unique Laffy Taffy demon. That's got to be good. So the Laffy Taffy demon is 1760 strength. That's kind of absurd. Well, I feel I've accomplished something here today by getting 10 million strength and making myself the biggest person in existence. I went to the gym for one single day and this is what we got. So I need to collect these balls and put them in a sample machine, which turns into money that I can spend on zombies. But the more I buy, the more expensive they get. When we get enough of them, we can merge them into better zombies. Now we have one blood and two normal. Aside from that, I can buy an increasing assortment of weapons that we will get through. For now, I'm gonna buy a free crowbar. Now we're ready to take on the world. Take that, zombie. Okay, turns out they hit back. But I do actually get a little bit of money from killing them. And we always have our best zombie here on display. Anyways, we're starting to get some red balls now, I think because we have a red zombie. So let's go ahead and dump those in here. We have 116 samples to get through. But we can upgrade the rate at which we're doing this, and we can do that again for a few dollars. That way we can process those a lot quicker. We're going to do that one more time for $15, then we're processing 5 per second. Look at the money go. So that means we can easily buy another 3 zombies, then soon to be another 3 again. And that's going to work well, because we've already got 2 of the red zombies. If we merge them all together, we're going to get a minor zombie that's a tier 3. I see how it works now. They've spit out different color balls depending on what they are. Obviously higher quality zombies give us higher quality balls. The basic zombie gives me 1, the red zombie gives me 3, the grey zombie gives me 18. So then when the timer runs down, there's a demon zombie we need to fight. Luckily, I've come armed with my simple crowbar, so I'm gonna murder this thing. Only 2400 HP to go. Shouldn't take more than a moment. There we go, look at that health drop. Six at a time. No problem at all. We've even inspired the other guys to get in there and fight. Now we have two crowbars killing this thing. Look at this guy. He's got a tier 5 guard zombie. Uh, luckily, the demon zombie is mostly tunnel vision on that guy, so I'm just going to sit here and stab him in the back. Turns out you can die. I'm going to go ahead and let them take care of demon zombie for now while I uh, turn my balls into money. I guess since I've made $400 now, I might as well buy the pistol. I don't know if this is going to make any difference at all, but at least we can hit things from a distance now. The demon zombie, for some reason, has wandered into that guy's area, and I can't hit it from here, really. Uh, luckily the demon zombie will come out and get me occasionally, so we're gonna try and headshot it until it's no more. I'm gonna do that by taking the high ground. I'm not sure if it can hit me up here. It doesn't seem to be able to, so we're just gonna exploit this. We just about got it defeated now, and it's been a long time coming. I need much better weapons. It's dead. We get to absorb the money. Then it's back to work, collecting the ball pit, which is absolutely full. And spending a little bit of money, increasing our conversion rate. We're gonna go 7 per second, and we're gonna turn 800 things into money. So the highest zombie rank is 25 million zombies. That's definitely more than we have. But the more strong zombies we get, the faster we make money. So let's buy another three and then another three again. That's an additional six zombies. That was really expensive, but we can merge those all into now. One minor, two tier twos, and two tier one. This thing's down to about 200 left, so we're going to top it up. 600 more to go, making money nonstop. It's still pretty cheap to buy one of these, and actually I'm pretty sure this is going to help us with a nice upgrade. Yeah, now we have two of those, so we're getting 36 per round. Because each one of these adorable morons gives us 18 points. And apparently somebody left money outside my door. I don't know why that happened, but I'm going to take it. Things are getting so expensive so quickly. But we're going to increase the rate up to maybe 10 per second. That's going to save me a little bit of time. We can already buy one more zombie. Two more zombies. Not that they're going to add a lot of value, but all we need is one more. And then we do actually get quite a bit better value out of them. I can tell by the sound of silence that my thing stopped going, so we're going to have to put more stuff into it. Then we got 500 to go through, so that's going to give us some easy money. In the meantime, I'm going to buy another three zombies, and that means we're ready for another merge. So we have two tier threes, one two, and two ones. I really need to find out what comes after the tier three, though, because that's going to make me tons of money. 
Okay, at this point, it's definitely worth it to buy one more zombie that's going to merge into two of, the, two of the blood zombies. Then suddenly we have a flame zombie to deal with. It sounds like someone over here has a machine gun already though, so that's probably going to help us take this thing down. But no, I'm mostly just going to sit over here where it's nice and safe and pot shot it because they really take it down for me. Then when Sarfire Idiot's HP starts to get low, I'm going to move in a little closer. That way we can take advantage of the money pile. It's like a pinata full of money. Then on the way back home, I'm going to murder a zombie. I didn't even notice the weapons up top before. Look at those things. I gotta look upwards more. 200 million dollars for a Pulse SMG? Uh, it's gonna be a long night. So after killing the flaming moron, we're gonna have 1.1 million things to transform into money. For now, I'm gonna get another three zombies, which is gonna make one more red, which is gonna make one more of those, which is gonna merge into some kind of new zombie that we've never seen before. I got a big. Bigs give me green balls worth 108. Yeah, that's much better. And every time I murder one of these zombies, I get about $37, which is actually a fair bit of easy money to just scoop up from the ground. And I was only out there for a second, but I grabbed another 800 of those, so we're staying well ahead on our production. So I'm actually going to upgrade my rate, probably up to about 15 if I can, because that's going to make it much quicker to sort through this. And since I have a little bit of money, we're going to start buying more zombies again, just so I can have a little bit more production. Really doesn't take long at all, though. I've already got three of those, which is going to turn into one of the red ones. Only a few minutes later and I can already afford another three zombies, which means another red one. And since money's going so quick, there's another three zombies, which is going to turn into another red, which means three reds to turn into the next one, so even more money coming in. And then because I'm impatient, we're going to upgrade our rate probably to 20, maybe even 25 per second. So these upgrades are getting expensive, but we're going to go up to 25 per second, that way I don't have to wait as long. Like, I want things moving so fast the entire universe breaks. And then it turns out we have a frozen zombie to deal with. I do like the way this works though. I could kill the frozen zombie and we make lots of money while I'm away doing it because my factory just keeps on working. And uh, the frozen thing is dead and back to work. While I was away we saved up $4,000 but I also got another $3,400 yet to come as soon as we process all of that. Then of course as soon as I save up $5,400, 10 zombies. Look at them all. Can we even fit 10 there? It doesn't matter. Merge them all together. What do we got? Now we're getting more balls than ever before. We need more of these guys, but they're going to be so expensive. These are increasing by plus two every time we buy them now, so I'm going to boost it up to about, uh, let's do 31 per second. Turns out there's a lot of tiers of zombies. A big is a tier of four. There is 17 tiers to go through. Look how many you need to get there. Very easily made $7,000, so we're going to get an SMG. Which is going to make our zombie killing that much quicker and easier. Let's give it a test. Yep, that's definitely quicker than a pistol. And the ball catcher fills up really, really quickly now. So let's buy another three zombies and another one zombie and just merge those all into whatever it is they could possibly turn into. So one tier four, two tier threes, and two tier twos. Actually, we're pretty close to getting another one of the bigs. Next, we have what's called an angelic zombie. I have a feeling it's weak to SMGs. SMGs only do three damage, but they fire very quickly. I think it's four with a headshot. Angelic thing is finally dead. Look at all the money. While I've been gone, we collected a whole bunch of balls. So that's going to turn into another $5,000. We've got $6,000 to spend now. Then we spend $7,600 on another 10 zombies and they go up there. So then we're going to merge them all into two bigs, two bloods, one basic. But we're going to make points so quickly now with two bigs. And as soon as we get one more, we get what's after a big. I'm also going to increase the rate of this. Uh, we spent $200, now we get plus three rate. So I'm going to make sure that goes up to about 50 because we're going to need just lots to keep up. 52 per second. At the rate we're producing, that's going to make us tons of money. And another $9,000 that we're going to spend on another 10 zombies. That should get me another big and therefore whatever's after that. Nope, not quite. These guys are really getting expensive quickly. But we at least have two miners, so we need one more of them. Looks like we've circled the globe and we're back to a flame zombie. Okay, this is starting to be a little bit slower than I wanted to, so we're going to go ahead and buy a rocket launcher. There's no way I could possibly regret having a rocket launcher. Let's test it on uh, this zombie. Well, it didn't one-shot it, but it did hit it pretty hard. Okay, let's see how it goes against uh, one of these guys. I think I hit it really hard. Yeah, we're hitting it actually for big chunks of damage. It's hard to see because the rocket doesn't really fly, but we're definitely hitting it for 75 damage. Then we get all this beautiful money. And look at the ball pit since we've been gone. That's going to equal another $8,000 ready to go. But I think we're going to need to escalate a little bit to see what this has to offer. So we're going to make a few purchases for double resources. And double money is also very important. So we can use our $14,000 to buy another 10 zombies. Plus another 3 on top of that actually. So we got 13 zombies. We're going to merge them all together into a guard. That gives me 1,000 resources per ball. 
So once we combine that with our double earnings, we're going to make money stupidly fast now. Like I just put another 12,000 into the money machine. And speaking of which, we're going to have to upgrade that. We're up to 64 per second. I'm going to turn it up to like 100 if I can. And we can. 100 per second. Now it's just a matter of annoyingly paying for the zombies that are getting crazy expensive. But I mean, I can already merge into a new one of them. And the miner at this point is even giving us quite a bit. It's kind of insane that I've already saved up another $24,000. And it just keeps going and going and going up. Like there's $32,000 worth of money in that machine that's just got to process through. I really see now how big these numbers could get. And there's another 10 zombies. So once you merge them all together, we're going to have really big earnings. Because we have uh, one of the bigs, one of the guards. Okay, so I'm going to spend a lot more money upgrading this some more. Maybe I can try and get it up to like 150 per second for a 50% increase. There we go. 150 per second. A single zombie now costs $1,600. Uh, three of them cost five grand, which used to be a lot of money. Now it doesn't feel so bad. Like almost by the time we're done doing that and merging it, we've made another five grand. And as we're about to start the next fight, there's $45,000 in that machine. But it's time to fight another frozen zombie. Luckily, I can just kind of run away continuously and shoot through my back. And by the time frozen zombie is dead, thanks to the hard work of strangers, I've got $75,000 in my bank account, which is actually enough to buy 30, almost 50 zombies. Like, can I even fit that many? Is that going to allow me to buy that? Uh, I did also accidentally just buy 10 zombies because I'm jumping around like an idiot. So we're just going to buy another 30. And then another 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do. They just keep stacking up. All right. Well, that's good to know. Then we're going to buy another 3. And then we're going to merge into... I'm not really sure. Okay, so we got two of those now plus a blood. Then I have another $72,000 in the bank waiting to come out. So we're just going to increase this rate again a little bit. They're going up by 8 every time. It would be nice to get this up to about 250 That way every 4 seconds it makes me $1,000. Which wasn't actually that hard to do. So every 4 seconds, $1,000 in my bank. And for killing a regular zombie, I get $300. Which is kind of worth it as long as they're convenient. I've already made another $50,000. And I've been wandering in circles for like 10 seconds. And $80,000 is enough to buy the AR. Which definitely fires big heavy bullets. I don't know if it's better than a rocket launcher... Yeah, it's definitely quicker overall for DPS. It kills those zombies quick. Definitely money well spent. I'm going to spend $20,000 upgrading the rate of this again. So now every three seconds it makes $1,000. Plus I've just realized I think it's actually giving double what it shows. So if we go one more time we should be making yeah, $1,000 a second because we have double money. So it's only going to take 76 seconds to make $76,000. Uh, 95 seconds to make 95 grand. But I'm also kind of sick of auto uh, of collecting and putting, so we're just going to automatically do those. So now as soon as the balls hit the green goo, they go straight into the money collector. So let's spend $74,000 on another 30 zombies, a giant wall of zombies. We're going to merge us into whatever we can. Two bloods, one big, and two of the whatever those are. And there's a frozen zombie coming in, so let's try our new DPS. We're going to try and get some headshots. I wonder if that person's trying to lure the zombie into their area. Yeah, look at the health go down. And this isn't even really a ridiculous weapon. This is just like a pretty average one. Yeah, it's taking no time at all to kill the zombie. It's basically like an SMG that does three times the damage. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how quickly we killed this thing. I can't wait to find the next weapons. And I've officially broken $100,000 for the first time. So let's buy another 30 zombies for 90000 which makes a giant wall of them and merge them all into two bigs and two guards. We quickly made another $100,000. There's another 30 zombies. Those are going to merge hopefully into something new. We did get a new one. We've got a pirate and each ball it gives us is 4,000 points. Tier 6. Cool. So things are getting expensive. 10 zombies is $40,000. The next 10 are going to be another $40,000. I think my least favorite part of this is touching this button because it's so slow to continually walk over this and very expensive at this point. But I did stomp on this thing for long enough to get us to 1000 per second there so I'm making $2000 per second now. So it takes no time at all to make the $80,000 we need for another 20 zombies that we're going to merge into whatever they turn into. After killing the last boss we have $330,000 so that means we can actually buy almost 100 zombies. We'll settle for 50 for now. Then another 30, and that kind of has me curious as to how high we can make our tower of zombies. Like, that's pretty impressive so far. I wonder if we could just keep going endlessly. It definitely gets expensive fast though, so that might have to be a concept we explore later. But now we're going to merge a billion zombies all into one, or two, or three. I've also just realized I can afford the katana. I guess I already bought it. That's a weird tree of zombies. Let's see what the katana does for damage. 13. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, AK is a lot better. 
I mean, we can hit lots of zombies with this, which is kind of interesting. Like, I can take down this whole horde pretty easily. But against bosses, it's going to be kind of weak. Because I'll get close and I'll get hit, and I'm only doing 13 damage. But we don't believe in disappointment here on this channel, so we're going to see what the minigun does instead. I lo like how he holds it with one hand. Seems to be firing quicker. 9 damage. So it's basically like the AK on steroids. It fires a billion times faster for the same damage. And this uh, kind of just feels right. This is getting stupid now. By the time I was done playing with my minigun, we made $220,000. So let's buy another 30 plus about another 10. Which gives me another tower of zombies, which when we merge them, looks something like that. And we're getting very close to a second pirate. Time for another boss fight. Let's see how they like miniguns. Okay, minigun pointed at head, go. Yeah, that's nice and quick. It's, yeah, definitely a lot quicker than anything we've used so far. And that makes me really excited for the weapons that are yet to come. Alright, so Frozen Thing is about dead. We're gonna take a little bit of money and off we go. $500,000 to spend on another 50 zombies. Plus probably another 20 on top of that. Which once again makes a colossal tower. But putting them together and... Oh, we actually got all the way to a soldier. He even glows. And his ball gets us 10,000. So it's basically $10,000 per drop. Oh, and this thing's going up by uh, 25 per buy now. $5,000, but we get an extra 25 out of it. So I'm actually just going to stand here behind the upgrade sign and let it do its thing for a while. But I got it all the way up to $2,000 a second. We make double money, $4,000 every second. Ever wonder what 100 zombies looks like? We're about to find out. $760,000 just spent on a large tower of zombies. And we've already made enough for another 10. I just wanted to step back a little bit to see what that would look like from a distance so everyone can see just how big my tower is. And by the time we're done with that, we can afford another 10 zombies, but we're also going to merge all of those together. That's like 120 zombies merged into what you see here. It's crazy how expensive they get. Like they're making me a ton of money, but it's also really expensive to upgrade them now. Another $750,000 means I can buy this sniper rifle. Not sure if it's actually going to be better than the minigun, but 105 damage it actually might be. It depends on how fast it fires. It's not overly quick, but 105 per shot is really strong. And I'm officially a millionaire for the first time. One million dollars. So we're basically going to spend most out on another 100 zombies. Which is that many, and then we're going to merge them all again into whatever we can. We now have two guards, two big boys. Then I'm going to set on the upgrade button again for a little while. This gets really expensive now. It costs $15,000 per upgrade. It gets us an extra 36, so if we touch that three times, that's well over an extra $100 per second. And a minute later, we're making $7,100 every second. So it takes no time at all to get another 100 zombie tower, which we can merge into who knows what. One pirate, one soldier. What's well, not, not a mistake, mistake is buying the demon, demon hunter for 666. The sniper rifle was a little underwhelming. It would hit the boss really hard, but it was actually really hard to hit the boss. This thing, on the other hand, does 24 damage per bullet, and it fires really quickly, so this is obscenely strong. This is going to melt the boss. Then I'm also going to spend some much needed money buying another 50 zombies because we need to get my production rate way up again. It's a demon zombie, that's perfect. So the combined might of everyone else's guns is doing that much damage, ours does this much. He's already down to 3 quarters health. This gun is stupidly strong, he's down to half health. It takes such big bites out of his health, it's almost ridiculous. There you guys go. Saved up for a minute and I've got a cool 2 million dollars to my name, so let's buy another 100 zombies plus another 50. Uh, and apparently they auto-merge at that point, so I've got a poison zombie now. And the poison ball is worth 21,000 times 2, so $42,000 for each one of this guy's balls. That's sadly still not quite enough to keep up with the money we're producing. But money comes quickly. There's another $1.2 million. I feel like we can just endlessly push these buttons at this point and get more and more zombies. There are, of course, these buttons we can press. Another 350 zombies? Yeah, why not? That gave us another soldier. <laughs> so what happens if we keep pressing this button? I just push this five times, which should be good for about 1,750 zombies. So that pushed us into a heavy. That's even beyond poison. 46,000 per ball. That is a stupid amount. And we're getting double that, I think. So we're getting about 100,000 per ball. So our money is definitely finally getting away again. So what happens if I press this like a whole bunch more? So I pushed it another 10 times, which added 3,500 zombies, which gave me whatever this thing is. A tier 10 demon. That gives me 100 and, well, basically 200,000 per ball. And it just looks a lot better than the other zombies. So I now have $3.2 million in my bank account and $4.8 million coming. So we're going to have about $8 million once that's all sorted out. And now every time I touch this button, we get a 358 increase. So I've gone to bump that up to $30,000 a second. 
then I decided to buy a few more zombies and that gave us a second one of those. So that means I think we can find out what's after that thing. Which has cost us uh, all of our remaining Robux. And that still wasn't enough to see what's after that. Things get so expensive. But we're also making such a stupid amount of money that I've now got the 10 million dollars I need for the next weapon up here, which is a machine gun. I don't know if this is better than my other gun. It's definitely not. It's still really good, but the demon hunter thing is much better. Well, I guess it's not much better, but it is better because it kills a zombie uh, this quickly, whereas a machine gun does it a little bit slower. Okay, I bought just one more time 350 uh, zombies and we got a gingerbread man with wings. But that's obviously very cool. Tier 11 with glowing balls. And each one of those are going to be worth uh, 314,000 times 2. So 630,000. So every time I touch this button now I get an extra 600 per second. Actually that's double it. So an extra 1200 per second. So upgrades are up to about $250,000 each. So they're expensive but we're now making $100,000 a second. And we're still producing more balls and we're converting into money. So we're pretty rich. A few short minutes later and I've got 70 million dollars so that means we didn't have enough to buy the pulse sword. And that definitely looks pretty cool but given how the last sword went I don't have high hopes for this. We would have to do like 500 damage to make it worthwhile. That's only doing 17. So this is it looks cool but it's not going to be useful at all. So I'll just take my glowy boy and let this run for six months then we'll see what we've got. 